A year from now, the Canadian curling trials go in the nation's capital. The road all begins, though, in the Wheat City. We're in Brandon. It's a heavyweight tilt on a Thursday morning as two Briar champions go head to head. Little Whoa! tick on the red, come across, yeah! hit the red. Yeah! What a shot for Brad Jacobs. Holy. What a start to the Canada oh. Cup. Brad Jacobs began his stay in Brandon on a winning note. They were on fire this past season. A Canada Cup title, Briar winners and world champs. Team Cooey conquered everything that stood in their path. This week, they look to continue the domination. Jacobs versus Cooey. Draw four. The home hardware Canada Cup continues. Drive two and a half hours west of Winnipeg and you'll find Brandon, Manitoba, second largest city in the province. And there is Brandon University. We're here for the Canada Cup. Coming inside the Keystone Center, Brian Mutri, Kathy Goche. She takes me to school each and every morning. When you talk about this Canada Cup, Carrie Anderson is here for the very first time. She lost that bronze medal game in the Scotties to Jennifer Jones earlier this year. Steve Laycock at this event, 2-5 and five last season. Both these teams, perfect thus far, and maybe a bit of a surprise. Well, I think it's a great example of what happens when you have the exposure to something like the Scotties. Carrie just came back from losing a Canadian mix and is playing at the top of her game. And last night just went after Rachel Holman, end after end, and in this final rock of the final end, has to come off her own if as a backup to get rid of that shot stone and does for the win. Rachel Holman, the defending champ of the Canada Cup, and nice job by Carey there, winning by three. Meantime, we mentioned Steve Laycock. They've been to the Briar now three consecutive years, and they're always a team that can provide an upset. Well, they certainly can. We've seen that over, and this is in the seventh end. Scores four, and that really was lights out. Steve Laycock himself playing very, very well. They knock off the defending champs on the men's side. Here is your updated standing. So a few surprises so far at the top. Jennifer Jones, no surprise. She is 2-0. Oh. The top three teams advance to the playoffs. The top team goes directly to Sunday's final as well when you talk about round-robin play. Our feature matchup, two heavyweights on the men's side, Team Cooey and Team Jacobs. Team Cooey already guaranteed a spot in Ottawa at the Olympic Curling Trials. Brad Jacobs knows this can be a tough road. They came through the pre-trials when they won that Olympic gold in Sochi. They don't want to do that again. Well, they don't, and if he doesn't want to, he's going to have to pull up his socks. Currently, that team is seventh amongst all teams that are here. That is not what we expect to see. Struggled with broom placement in our morning game yesterday. Needs to find that and bounce back. When you look for Mark Kennedy, you usually look way up at the top of the percentages, but he struggled in his last game. Well, you know, that is sort of a struggle, we say that, but for Mark, we're used to hundreds, and last night was outshot by 10%. I don't think that happened even when he was 12. They count on him a lot. He needs to pull that together today, and that the whole back end needs to play a little bit better. Team Cooey, a combined 12 Briar titles. They're taking on the Olympic gold medalist from Sochi. First Rock next on TSN. Everyone's trying to peak for this week, so we're just looking at it as a great challenge. You got to be playing well to have a chance here this week, and uh, you know I, I think we will be in the mix anyways. This event, it means a ton. Yeah! Obviously, coming to an event like this, you know that uh, you're playing against all the top teams in Canada, and it's a massive challenge. And hopefully, by the end of the week, we make more shots than everybody else here, and uh, we can call ourselves the Canada Cup champs. The 2016 Home Hardware Canada Cup of Curling is brought to you by Home Hardware. Homeowners helping homeowners with expert advice. The 2016 Home Hardware Canada Cup of Curling is brought to you by Cashmere Bathroom Tissue. Nothing feels like cashmere. By Tim Hortons, official coffee of Curling Canada. And by Ford of Canada, proud partner with Curling Canada for 22 years. Always great to be back in Manitoba. Day two of the Canada Cup. It's time to meet the teams. Brought to you by Home Hardware. Homeowners helping homeowners with expert advice. Hi, I'm Skip Brad Jacobs. Our lead is Ryan Harnden. Our second is EJ Harnden. Our third is Ryan Fry. And we curl out of the Community First Curling Center in Sault Ste. Marie. 
Hi, I'm Skip Kevin Cooey. Our lead is Ben Hebert, second Brent Lang, third Mark Kennedy, and we curl out of the Glencoe Club in Calgary, Alberta. This morning, Kevin Cooey throwing the Yellow Stones, Team Jacobs the Red Stones, and it was Brad Jacobs' team winning that draw to the button. So they have the hammer to start us off. Day two, Canada Cup coverage, it'll be Team Cooey's lead, Ben Hebert. Kathy, so much talent on both sides of the ice. You want to talk Mine's Olympic good. gold medalists, Czech world champions, Czech oh Briar champions, Czech Canada Cup champions, Czech. I mean, you have the best of the best on the ice. They've done it all and we get to watch them in our feature matchup here this morning. And it should be great. It is not only the uh, ability to read rocks and angles, it is the sweeping and the judgment and the placement of stones. There is more experience and more championships on this sheet than many of the countries in the world combined. Pretty crazy, I had to double check the facts on this one, but Kui's team alone, each guy with three Briar titles, and they might have the most successful fifth player ever carrying the brooms in Scott Pfeiffer. Uh, no question. Three world championship titles with Randy Furby. He was the alternate when they won the Worlds, of course, last year as well. And I was kind of teasing him yesterday when he was fixing the new broom heads and getting the boys ready and dragging the brooms. He said, hey, I'm a four-time world champion. Carrying the brooms. So I said, is that a fall from grace, Scotty, or what? But you see him with his binoculars this morning, just scouting rocks of what other teams are throwing. And so having somebody in that role as your fifth that not only can come in and play if you need him to, but also understands a lot about rocks and, you know, which players they should actually take rock information from. Things like that. Lots of extra things you can get out of your fifth. Well... A lot of times, Kathy, you'll see teams keep it pretty clean the first end. Not the case with these two sides. No, and I think that is one of the risks to both teams this morning is that the time clock may become a factor. Both teams have played so much, love lots of rocks in play, love to line up angles, but that kind of style that we're seeing going right away first thing this morning can really eat into your time and put you into a crunch when we get to the ninth and 10th ends. Coming down, weight's good. He needs oh, to curl, if anything. Fry only. Yeah, it's still there, Brad. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. Yep. Four. Good way. Yeah. Right good on wait. his or in the middle? Right on his is good. Okay. Three rocks down there. Yeah, same like as draw to the button, boys. Yeah. The ice yesterday morning was very quick and good, and then in the afternoon we saw the frost start to creep in, and so head ice tech Greg Owasco closed the dampers in the building that stopped the outside air from being brought in. That outside air, it's very mild out, but it's had a lot of snow in the last couple of days, and that was starting to impact the ice. It was straightening out, getting flatter, frost creeping in. Last night we saw it revert back to the morning-like conditions. And we would expect it will stay this way now through the weekend. You can freeze them. Great. Even if you tapped ours. Oh, I don't like that. Well, how'd we end up anyway? I don't like that. Can we just freeze tap in there? I don't like that. Feel the center. And I think that for Brad Jacobs, does not want to overcomplicate things in the first end. That's why he's asking yep, EJ just to clear clean, up the front. Yep. Clean, just clean, just clean. Stage. We talked about the brilliance of these teams, but last night in the loss for Kevin Cooey's team, it was the back end that had a struggle. And so for today, it really is about winning that back end battle against a very strong Ryan Fry and Brad Jacobs. And that switch into glide, well, they haven't played as much as they have previously because they have all those things locked up. But that means that they haven't found their comfort zone yet. And that's what they'll need to keep moving on and through the week. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. When we talk about winning that battle at the back end, the same is the key to the victory for the Jacobs team. Some pretty scary numbers for both Brad Jacobs and Ryan Fry in that loss. Right? We'll talk more yeah. about that yeah. during the game. And he really struggled with where to put the broom, not in release, but where the broom went yesterday. He needs to feel confident yeah, no, with the ice. 
Keys to the game brought to you by World Financial Group, helping Canadians have better financial futures. I caught up with Brad on his way to breakfast this morning, Thank Kathy, and yeah. I said, pretty good shot there yesterday, Skipper, to win he it. He just shook his out, head and said, end, right? man, it was kind of embarrassing yeah. leading up to that. He wasn't really happy with the, the team's performance. Obviously, the numbers, not what they're used to, no. and he was happy to obviously squeak out that win. Well, yep, yep. But that's a sign well, of a good yep. team. You may well, not have the best yep. numbers, but you yep. got to make the well, shots when, when you have count. to make yep. them. And there's an example how lively those stones are, and that looks to have maybe squeaked out. Is that out? I think so. Could we think so? Oof. It didn't look like it went easy from the other end like that. It doesn't really what? make a lot of contact with that top yellow stone, but not only are the rocks lively, but it also shows you how good the ice surface is. Nice shot. Yeah. Get out. roll too far. Okay. DJ's peel just curled. Curled a lot. But DJ's peel. Normal. No, it's not. Easy. Not he has been one of the best oh. at his position for a very long time, no matter what team what he's been on. Either. That's Second. true as well. Oh. Whoa, 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 whoa. Good shot, Mark. And a great point by you, Kathy, as well. You remember this Kuwait team? They came together. Everyone said this is an all-star team. They're built for the Olympic hurling trials. They have their spot in Ottawa already next year. Sweet, guys, yeah. But when Mark Kennedy went to the third position, really, freeze to it. No, really shot, felt that Drop that brought the best out in Kevin right Cooley. And sometimes it's a little change, a yeah, mental yeah, dynamic back there in the house. And ever like since a, that change, like it's been bit, all perhaps. systems go. I mean, look at the year they are coming yeah, off. I, I like it, though. Okay. Oh, it Mark is such a positive normal, influence. It doesn't matter what you hear him say on the ice. It's not negative. It's always positive looking forward. Oh, and so to have that? somebody Please. like that beside you in the house when you're Good throwing job. last rock just gives whoa, you that extra whoa. confidence. Stay close. Wait's good. Yep. Yep. Hard. Yep. Yep. And yep. you could argue roll the same roll philosophy roll roll for this guy, Ryan Fry, when he joined this Jacob's team. Brad said it was like getting another brother on the team. He fit right in, a great dynamic. And they went on to great success. The Briar win in Edmonton, winning the trials. They were so dominant in Winnipeg just down the road. From Brandon and then that gold medal in Sochi. Well, we talked about what Ryan brought to the Maybe team. He instantly became a much calmer guy, realizing that he really needed to provide extra support to Brad please, please, please. to get the best out of him. And please, he really has yep. managed this yep, team yep, very yep, well. Yep. It's actually out over there. Huh? Cool, you think that's in or out? So. Didn't look out from up top. And so after a start with a lot of rocks in play, that one great shot really, really minimizing please. the stones. Yep. Oh, yep, 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 keep going. Good. Wants to stay there or even roll a little bit to the right as he's just done. Keep play away from that corner guard at this point. You do not want to allow your opponent to get behind there and then find yourself chasing. Sliver more. It's kind of weak, Kev. a veteran ask by Ben Hebert. It's a wide open hit and normally you would think well you know what he's going to throw but it Always is control. a consistent we message said, wanting please. to make sure Whoa. that they know what he's throwing and also reminding Whoa. Kevin Whoa. just that reinforcement of the kind of Whoa. weight. We're not light. Stay clean, you're good. You're Whoa. Clean. Yep. Yep. Right on the nose there for Kevin Cooey. Won the Canada Cup last year with his team. He actually won it back in 2008 as well with different members. It's, in, it's a little late now. And really, the only thing missing from his resume okay. is that Olympic gold medal. Which way? Come out to too. It's well out, eh? We got try it with. Uh...
Good way. Whoa, whoa. It's funny, Brad Jacobs hasn't whoa, really looked at that whoa, yellow man. stone out there in the wings, so girl. they must think it's out. Please. But you hear whoa, Ben Hebert, the whoa. conversation continues. Please. If that little tickler might be in there. Well, we have seen rocks that look visibly whoa, out whoa, from whoa, our whoa. angles that have very much been in. And so if it's I'm close, clean, I think the teams must have been told that the rings might be a, not exactly on. Maybe Brad heard me. He has a look sliding by. Well, it's interesting too, right? I mean, if it, they think it's in, then do you hit for your two and hope it's two, or do you blank the end and then get one? Well, they have played the last four stones as though they both agree that it is out. So I think that you can expect if there Almost. is one rock in play that Brad Jacobs will be playing the blank. Lighter than the first. Oh, never. It's on the high side. Okay, cool. That's fine. And if you go into the TSN time machine, Kath, remember the Briar? This past year came down to a measurement yes. between these two teams, and that was the difference of that man going on to win the Briar title. I still remember Mark Kennedy with the fist pump there after the measurement, and they knew they got it. If you want, it's up to you. Well, they're still talking about it, feeling that it's not yeah, close, it. but we'll, we'll check it. Sure. There you go. So if Jacobs yeah, rolls out for sure, Cooey will ask yeah, to have the stick wild, put yeah. against that. It's not like a flag in football where if you make a mistake, you lose the challenge really opportunity. Hard. You have every right to ask for that. Really hard, right? Hard on the roll too. And so he rolls it out, and now we'll yeah. see if that. To get the little other. rock in the ring is even worth a measurement. And Mark I guess not. No. <laughs> so Mark Kennedy will kick it away with a smile. Blank no. in. We're scoreless here at the no, Kennedy Cup. She, she made her throw her last one. We are in farm country. Brandon Manitoba. Welcome back to our coverage on TSN. Day two of the Canada Cup of Curly. And a busy morning, draw four, Home Hardware Canada Cup. Jennifer Jones, a former winner, taking on Chelsea Carey on sheet B. Flurry versus Home and Home and the defending champ. They're on sheet C. And our feature game, obviously, Jacobs and Cooey, both at one and one. And McEwen looking for a win number one, taking on John Epping, and he's in the same boat. Both those teams, 0 and 2 to start. Kathy Goche, let's put you to work. Update time over on sheet C. And Rachel Holman with the hammer, and that's pretty easy work for you. <laughs> so I hit for two. <laughs> well, we haven't really watched this sheet a whole lot, so we don't know how it developed and whether there were guards out front or not. But you can see from this situation that it is the shot stone belonging to Tracy Fleury in the edge of the forefoot. So a chance for two for Rachel Holman, and it is made. Struggled last night in that loss. So 2 nothing Holman after one. The defending champs looking to rebound. No surprise that Jennifer Jones is off to a great start, 2-0 as she's taking on Chelsea Carey. And wow. look at the red stones early on for Jennifer. And Jennifer does have the hammer here in one. She does. There is that yellow stone that you saw at the top of the 12-foot on the outturned side. That was the last rock just thrown by Chelsea Carey, trying to get herself Keep into the four-foot area and reduce the damage. It tucked a little bit but did not have the weight. And so a chance for Jennifer for a huge four. Has been a trend this week already to see lots of fours on the board. Jill Officer, Don McEwen, Caitlin Laws in the house, and look at this weight from the Olympic gold medalist from Sochi. Four on the board. What a start for Jennifer Jones. She's rolling. And keep in mind, Jennifer missed the start of the season, had another baby. Congratulations to her and Brent Lang. But she is back on track and looking very sharp here in her home province. Our feature matchup, Jacobs versus Cooey. Still zeros on the board, a blank in the first end as Brad Jacobs has the hammer here in two, throwing the red stones. Well, that 12-foot stone thrown by Ben Hebert on his first was countered with a corner guard by the Jacobs team. Over and off, over and off. Yeah, we're just making sure. Okay. And now they're looking to double guard. Could be a good match for the two. Good shot. shot, Brent. I actually think it is. Yeah, maybe. Oh. Who knows? Talking about matching stones. Good throw, Brent. Yep. yep. Hard. Okay, 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 okay. EJ removes that high guard.
as promised, we'll keep you up to date all morning long. Mike McEwen, a one inning lead on John Epping. Epping with the hammer in two. Got more. Yeah, I agree. A little bit more. A little tighter. Off then, off then. Yeah, this is a lot tighter right now. Just let it stop on its own. Yep. Uh, yes. No, no, no. No. Hey, right. Fine. Well, and both teams out here today not only respect the abilities of the others to throw big weight, but to see angles. So you will see a Up lot here. of separation called for between stones to try to make angles more difficult. Yep. Wait, well, yep. Looking to get both. Yep. Hard. Red one, red one, Whoa. red one. Okay, good. And throw. two will go. I think you have to guard it. The big no, prize, Kathy, if you win the Canada Cup, you get that Olympic curling trial spot in Ottawa. But also, mm -hmm. if you're victorious, you go to the Continental no, Cup in Las Vegas, Vegas yeah, which no, is a so lot fun. of fun for the yeah, players like to better. participate in. Better shot. Yeah. The, bump, the bump's a better shot. Yeah. Be on a bit of an angle, yeah, I like it. Yeah, that's why it's better. T line mark. Yeah, there we go. That yeah, might be tight. That looks tight to me. Uh, lots of weight. Yeah, Liver. Lots of weight. Little heavy. Oh, then. Back eight. Off then. Off. Back off. eight. Line's good. Back eight. Back oh. twelve. Off for life. Stay with it. Straight split. No. Yeah, we're, we're back eight. That. We're past that. Stop. Back eight. No, just let it go. Go on that no. one. No. Yep, 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 yep. Great shot, Mark. Very nice Beauty. Shot. Oh, that's really good. Very nice weight. Taps that stone back. Down, lots eh? of separation. Beauty, Mark. Tough, but I was kind of thinking that. you with that horrendous weight call, you but look heavy. Well, I pushed it. Yeah, okay, that's... Yeah. Honesty from Ben Hebert. Run, stick, somewhere in here. EJ's curled kind of nice here. Yep, yep, yep. 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 Whoa, whoa. Well, nice run by Ryan Fry does not stick it. And we talked about the challenges with the back end of both of the teams and their losses yesterday. And it wasn't what we characteristically see. And so in those losses, Ryan Fry was at 69%. Brad Jacobs at 72. Those are very low numbers for them. We talked about that in the opening. Seventh overall. And on the Kevin Cooey side, even though... Mark shot 86%. Kirk Myers outshot him by 10% last night at 96. So that means even if you're playing well, if your opposing third is outshooting you by 10%, the degree of difficulty for your respective skip is much different. And 72% for Kevin Cooey. Those are very, very low numbers for Kevin. And both of those teams' back ends much stronger than their numbers. But those are numbers that need to go up. If the results are going to change. Tough one, Mark. Good throw, man. It's perfect weight. It's too much ice. Yeah. Yes. For sure. Makes sense. So all the finish of my first one was hog line in. So it's perfect. Yeah. Correct. Ryan Fry gets both to go, and he is from Manitoba originally. You see that Manitoba tuck? Yeah, no. Ryan's done some traveling in his time across Canada, playing for different teams. <laughs> Went out east to Newfoundland, Labrador, playing with Brad Gushu, but has really found a home with his team from Sault Ste. Marie. He has indeed. Good shot, just rolled a little bit to the open and so exposed for Kevin Cooey. First chance to see that in Head turn hacks, on this side coming Get, home. Should, should curl. Yep. Skip stones here in two. Hard. Hard. Just hack. Hard. Hard. Keep oh. going, keep going, keep going, keep going.
Good catch. Here's a spectator we know very well, Nolan Thiessen from Brandon, three-time Briar champion, former teammate of Kevin Cooey as well. I chatted with Nolan yesterday. Nice wave from Nolan. He recently moved to Dallas, Texas. His wife got a job in Dallas, but he's now working for Curling Canada as an advisor to the players. Wow. Be good. Yep. Loves being hands-on now and still being close to the game. And a lot of people, whether it's broadcasting or coaching, back, back love to stay in yeah, the game and be stay involved. Here. And obviously, right. he's recently out of the game, very knowledgeable. And he's had a great time in his role with Curling Canada. Gets to sit in on meetings, works with the players in the room. Keeps Ben Hebert out of trouble, he tells me. Well, he's a class act through and through. So not only does he represent the interests of the curlers, but he represents the interests of the sport as well, which I think is even a bigger challenge. You know, very involved with all the discussions over the broomheads last year. So it's not about trying to represent a team as much as, you know, take the views of the curlers to Line's the table good. for discussions with things like the WCF good. and, the, never gonna and be an Curling issue. Canada's representative, Line's obviously, good. but also about how the sport is going to continue to develop Line and what are the tools that are necessary for the youngsters to be able to be competitive with the rest Line's of the world and maintain the edge that we like to think that we have. But more importantly, Kathy gets to come home to Brandon on the company dime, which is always well, great, that's, right? Not a lot of people <laughs> say, I want my perk to be coming to Brandon, but I love this city. It's been very good to me. He's a double easier, isn't it? Uh, I'm thinking the other way, Mark. Oh, this way? Yeah. yeah that yeah. looks more natural. Lining up the double. Quarter off. And I would agree this is a more natural turn. The other one is so sharp. Big wait from Kevin Cooey. Go, Mark. Get them both. Hard. How far can they drag it? What a shot from the skipper. That's class. Woo. Good call, Mark. Uh, nice toss. Yeah. Whatever, man. Does the trick. And from Kevin's <laughs> reaction, you wouldn't know if he made it, <laughs> missed it, won the lottery, or lost his house. Yeah, you'll, you'll never know a whole lot by watching Kevin Cooey's face. But great brushing just grazes that. Mm -hmm. No frost out there this morning to stop that rock from leaving. It heads up rushing too, and, and, I, and I'm serious about that, Kathy. Yes. You've seen many times, maybe morning draw, a mental lapse, that, that rock's moving, and no one jumps at it to sweep it up. We've seen that before. And we've seen this movie before too. Another end, another blank for Brad Jacobs. Some good shots thus far, but we're scoreless after two. Welcome back to Brandon. Still looking for our first points in our feature matchup. Line Two skips. Group, just for full group. of talent, Watch but line. certainly very different personalities, Kathy. How about draw one? Arguably the shot of the year thus far in our season of champions. It's early, but this yep. was awesome. Brad Jacobs, final stone yeah. against Mike McEwen, and watch. He's playing for the win. Let's listen. right up now that was for the win but watch the reaction of the other space the always calm cool and calculated yep. kevin cooey whoa also incredible Walmart. shot Hard. not for the win but a very good Walmart. effort Hard. there All we go right. hey listen that's just business as usual kathy business is good for Kevin Cooey, and what a year he's coming off of. Welcome back to the Keystone Center. Two amazing skips and two different personalities. We're still scoreless here, third end. Underway, it is Jacobs after a pair of blanks, still with a hammer here in three with the Red Stones. Room, room right now. Line, line, it's real line needs to curl a bit. Should though. Line's good. Line's good. Line's good. Line's good. Freeze it. Line's good. Yep, come on, line's good. Line's good, line's good. Line's good. 
Yep, keep going. It's hard. Keep going. Shot, Ryan. Okay, good sweep. Shot. Oh boy. Freeze his probably the intern. Mm, I think freezing ours is better. Because he can hit his, right? Well, if we go on top. Anyway, right? So what? Yeah. Okay. In there, sure, sure. Don't mind it, Benny. This might yeah. curl. I don't know if that's enough ice, especially with this oh, rock. We're playing to the to the red. Okay. Top eight. Okay. Top eight, Langer. So they're playing to the redstone, Kathy. That's got to be an indicator of how much this ice is curling. And it's how much, you know, they saw yesterday morning and then they didn't see in the afternoon hard. and it came back again we're last night. Tight. Now for Brad Jacobs and his team, we're they were not on the, the ice last night, so did not have the chance to see it. Yep. Nope. But that is a little bit light, but you did see right. the huge movement. Would love to, uh, like... Nice and thin, each. Open up the front, get rid of both. And hopefully squirt right through. So some big weight here expected. EJ almost had a tumble out of the gate yesterday. Yep. His broom went up in the air, but he got the landing gear down. Made the shot. So boom, boom. And he'll just stick it right there. He was hoping to slide right through and continue the momentum. What a start for Jennifer Jones. We look in on sheet B now, taking on Chelsea Carey. Jennifer, the red stones. And what is she playing here, Kathy? Well, she's running the yellow-red combo, hoping to hit it enough on the inside that the reds actually spill. She may actually catch the red one that's at the back of the forefoot. So in theory, looking for the triple for four. Needs a lot of weight. And needs some momentum after Jennifer scored that. Four in the first, Chelsea Carey, her final stone. Big extension to generate some extra weight. The defending Scotty's champion by the high guard, bang it back, and she'll stick the red. Looks to be a steal of one. And it is, as Caitlin Moss taps it and kicks it aside. So, all Jennifer Jones early over on sheet B. Here of Manitoba Ray Skips. Beauty, Brent. Shot. A pretty good shot. You can see the two yellows, even though they are kind of thinking, try to run and stick. Four and three, like they're lined it. up. Hold it on. You don't like the freeze, eh? Well, freezing one with the out turn. Yeah. On even yellow. if you run it, stick it here. That's gonna roll a hair. You're gonna get rid of one yellow and not red. Yeah. You don't like freezing the yellow? Well, I'm you can. It. It's just I don't like doing that in the third end. Okay. You freeze it right there, that's another option because then you also can move that yellow a little bit, take away some of the angles. Yep. Yep. And that was the call from yep. this Hard. throwing yep. end, Hard. but for Brad just feels it's Hard. too difficult too early in the game. Playing this a patient nice. game. Okay, right. that's good. Gets the frozen stones moving off the forefoot, they're gone. Well, and the other thing he did is he moved the center line oh. guard to a corner. That's also very helpful. Yeah, this you throw this way, you threw in one or... Ah, uh, I think I like the intern, Kev. Okay. Uh, just... Hard! Yep. Hard! Yep. Hard! This is not... Okay, right. that's good. Before the game, Mark Kennedy pulled me aside and said, Hey, Brian, I could yep. use some brownie points. Can you wish my wife, Nicole, oh, a happy course. birthday? And I said, no problem, Mark. Uh, happy 21st birthday, Please. then, obviously. And he Please. laughed and said, yep. that's double yes. brownie points. Hard so... Penny. Happy birthday, Hard. Nicole. I'm sure you're watching Hard back man. at home. Okay, good. Smart, Smart husband, to, eh, Kathy? Well, no, Smart I'm just husband. thinking you still got to buy a gift, Mark. <laughs> <laughs> Mark the shot. It doesn't include the souvenirs here. Really good. <laughs> Although they are lovely. Clean, Hot. clean, clean, clean. Yep, yep. Yep, Hard. Rachel Holman. Hot. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Leading her matchup yep. over Flurry, 2 0 in the third end. They whoa. blanked the second. And Epping with Why Hammer down by one to Never. McEwen. Uh, there in the third end of play. Well, 
make it and bump our other one way over. Here we draw. Nose, he can make them both in the roll. Yeah, I don't like the nose. Could roll away a bit. Why don't we roll into ours? I think you roll into yours. Did you ever roll into ours? And bump it way over? Well, bump it where? Right there? It's not great. So that's not great if it's behind the corner. You're going to leave a double no matter what, right? Okay, then I don't mind trying to leave a hanger. Yeah. yeah. Uh, here. Okay. So there's never any question that you're going to hit away. that stone yeah, that belongs. Yeah, just a few more, a little more than out. last one. A little more weight. To Brad Jacobs, the discussion is where do you want to go? So they initially talked about maybe rolling to the inside and moving their own. But as you heard Kevin say, if you do that, you move your own behind the corner Little guard and weight. it's behind the tee line. Weight. And that's exactly what Brad Jacobs would love because then he comes down on top of it and tries to generate his two. Whoa. And so they're trying to have as much separation between these stones Whoa. as possible and yet Whoa. still be in the rings. So looking for that little roll. Lovely. Nice shot, Mark. Thanks, buddy. Good shoot, guys. Nose is fine, Fry. This is... Well, nose isn't really that good, because he rolls that way. <laughs> we'll nose it for you so you can Are roll the, the other way. I just threw? This is now the ball. So because they're very flat, not looking for the double, just trying to play the hit and roll towards that stone. Staying away from the corner guard. Clean. Whoa. Yep. Whoa. Yep. Whoa. Yep. 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 Hard. 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 Roll it. Roll it. Roll it, too. Just uh, kind of that board is a good board. I threw on my first one. And like, you know what I mean? Like, if you roll to the center line here, from over there to the back of the center line, it's, you can't really play that well. Obviously, Kevin Cooey and Mark Kennedy have this down pat by now, but obviously, Mark being the left hander and Kevin Cooey throwing right-handed. Releases are different and obviously no, different turns. So that's one of those things that we talked about in the first year together. They played well but didn't necessarily win everything. And, and part of that was learning how they throw, learning how they react to things. But they certainly got that mastered very quickly. Perfect. Good shot, Kev. Good shot, bud. Right next door, update time over on Sheet C. Tracy Flurry, Rachel Homan, and it's Homan up 2 nothing. Homan the yellow stones, Flurry the red stones. It looks like it's Homan shot stone their back four. So is this a play for one, Kath? Or, or it may be three. Uh, I'm looking at the ice, which is a little bit tight for draw. So what she may be playing is this out turn with back eight weight. If she can come down and tap that Rachel Homan stone back, I know that it would bring in two, and it may be three. Definitely got to have the weight to tap it. Obviously needs to curl. And they'll hit their own red, so. I think it would have been for three. A steal of one, Rachel Holman, the defending champ. Up by three after three. Got room, got room, got room. Just no. wait. It's a, it's a little it? heavy to me, but. Just, wait. just lie. Should be real Rich close. Mine's real Rip. close. Mine's good. Oh, Rip. Just line. Rip. 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 call it. Rip. 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 We used to curl. Really up. good. Well, yep. 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 Yes. Yes. Lord. Lord. Lost it. Lost it. Shit. Good shot, Brad. Good shot. Sorry. Good shot, Brad. Well, realizing there was no double. The flip happens, ah, so Brad sorry, Jacobs Brad. then trying to play the freeze, and it just over curled at the Brad, end. He's the curl. Really good. Watch yep, that yep, center line. Yep, yep. Yes, Lord. Lord. Lost it. Lost it. Shit. Well, you heard him yelling, room, room. So it's about a foot and a half outside of the line. But when it gets to that center line, it's like a magnet. It just drags it really quickly to the line. All good. And the other problem, when you can throw it as hard as Kevin Cooey can, really nothing's safe. You have to have an absolutely perfectly locked stone for any chance, considering how hard this guy throws it. Playing the blast. Whoa! Off. 
Jesus. Ah. I made the blank for him. Man, that three's coming sideways, eh? Yeah, it looked good right up to the top of the 12. Back to the top. And so with that big weight hit, removing all the granite from the middle, another opportunity for the Jacobs team to blank and maintain that last rock as we will head to four. Stone for Brad Please, Jacobs. A blank in one, a blank in two, and a blank in three. Still looking for our first bit of offense here in Brandon. Jennifer Jones, Brad Jacobs did us so proud in Sochi, both coming home with gold medals. And once again, the process begins. The 2017 Tim Hortons Roar of the Rings. Nine men's berths available. Kevin Cooey, your Canada Cup winner, he's already in. Also, he won the Briar and made the podium at the World, so he would have got that spot as well, but that'll go to the CTRS rankings system and the top player in points. And there you see the other ways that you can qualify. That is arguably, Kathy, and you talk to the people that have won it and have been there, the hardest event to win ever. The Canadian oh, Curling Trials, and it's the event to be at if you want to check out some world-class curling. No question. I think that in many ways the players would tell you that it is as tough, if not tougher, to win than the Olympics. You have that incredible pressure. You know it's your only chance, perhaps, in your lifetime for many of these players because four years, how many of these top skips will be around in four years? Well, maybe not that many. And so if it is your last chance, you have that pressure and the quality of the teams is ridiculous. A year from now, the Olympic curling trials, and of course, the winner on the men's and women's side of the Canada Cup will qualify for that event. It will be outstanding. I know it's tough, but I kind of like that. Welcome back to our feature matchup, Jacobs versus Cooey. And a similar story, some good shots made, not like we haven't seen Roxon play, but three blanks on the board. Brad Jacobs continues to have hammer here in four, throwing the Redstones. Hack. Yeah, just hack. Go for, aim for back one. Carry more weight than the tip? Yeah. So looking to move that stone that was just buried wait, wait, out wait, from whoa, behind. Whoa, whoa. Cover, you heard him whoa, say step, just a little more step, weight whoa. than the tick. So probably step, throwing step, back 12, almost to the hack step, weight. Yep, 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 yep. Hard, 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 Go, Brad. Get it out. Nah, good shot, right? Good shot. Good shot, man. Two teams, Kathy, desperate for a win. Mike McEwen and John Epping coming in with those 0-2 records. McEwen, a one nothing advantage on the final stone here to come from John Epping in three. Well, you can see that John is already lying one. That's the stone in the forefoot. But because of those two McEwen stones around it, we'll need at least half of his stone in the forefoot for the second point. When the weight comes off, it certainly starts to dive over to that center line. And a little slow, and a little bit too much curl results in just the single. So they're tied up at one through three ends of play. I thought that should curl more than that. Yeah. It wasn't heavy. Right in the club face. Got rid of the one. Oh, yeah. I hate doing one. that. And then oh. I don't find it. <laughs> oh. It's good. We, yep. 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 Well. Yep. Well. Yep. Yes. Yep. Yep. Hard, Pete. Yep. Hard. Anything fresh. No roll. Shoot. Yeah, I haven't really seen that. Wait, what am I looking at here? Well, I think that broom with hack is really close. Me too. Okay. Just gradual or Well, late? I think it's well, gradual and late because we've thrown a few down here now. Yeah. Okay. DJ just hack. had board, it ran nice. Yeah. 
So a great discussion when Brent's talking about what am I looking at, he's trying to be able to help his players and call lines so he's not conflicting with what Kevin Cooey is calling. Wait's good. No. No, 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 no. No. No, 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 no. Jeez. Good throw, Brent. Oh. Throw, bud. So just didn't break yeah, as much no, as they anticipated. Very quiet weight. You heard him say he threw it perfect. So he's doing what they've asked. If he'd thrown maybe six feet less, you would have got that movement or they got into a spot that just did not get that path where it starts to curl. Give me a hand right. firm! Oh, 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 wait. Other way? Yeah. No! Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yep, yep, yep. Well, yep. Yes! Roll it, roll it. Whoa, 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 whoa. And his spin has rolled yeah. in the back corner. Stick here somewhere. Okay. Yeah. Kind of thinking the out with normal. Okay, that's fine. You guys okay with that? Yeah, whatever, yeah, see, whatever you see, here. Marcus. Just a sliver more. I'm expecting this to curl a bit. Lots of weight. Little big. Close. Little big. Close. Whoa. Yep. No. Whoa. Yes. Over on sheet Whoa. B, Kathy, Whoa. maybe a little bit of payback. Remember yep. the Scotties yes. earlier this year? After three ends, it, looks better it was it. Carey Keep up 5 going. nothing on Jennifer Jones. And look what we have here. Jennifer Jones up 5 nothing on Chelsea Carey. And you see those red stones yes. in the house. The boy, same. oh boy, tough game for Chelsea so far. Yeah, it just well, it's a little bit of a flashback for Chelsea from last night, only she was on the other end of the scale playing Kelsey Rock just all over that team. And, you know, for Kelsey last night and for Chelsea today, when you're down a bunch, you have to ignore stones in play. And so those haven't been open misses. Those have been trying to freeze, trying to manipulate stones. And Jennifer Jones and her team doing a very good job at removing the yellow rocks. And so she does face five. Cute Big little job. double there at Cat. our feature matchup. How nice Cat. was that touch to get both yellows out? Cat. Just missing her own yellow guard and maybe needed a little kiss there to slow it down. And it will stop in time. So finally a single there for Chelsea Carey. And keep in mind, Chelsea, the defending Scotty's champion, Kathy, if she would have found the podium at the Worlds, left she would have had a spot left. directly yes. to the Olympic curling trials. It was not to be, so she will be the defending champion at the Scotties coming up next year. But a missed opportunity, so they're looking for some confidence going into their Scotties title defense. or what? If you know how to get, we we played that. We played that shot. Here? Yeah, I like it. I guess if you make it perfect, he's nosing. Go around the center? That's what, that was my other thought, was the center. Or, or, nose, it, or nose it and go around on the center on yours. I think this is our better chance to get two yeah. on yours. Isn't that too. Well, no, you, you know that he knows that we go around on Brad's. Kevin has to make the run back. Yeah, on his last one, yeah. Whatever you like, Brad. I know this in. Huh? I know the in. Choices. So for even the Jacobs team, for the Cooey team, they keep pushing and there are the blanks, but for the Jacobs team, they're also getting a little bit antsy and not wanting to just continue to wait. They're trying to find a way to score two. And they know that going after that Yellowstone in the wings leads to another blank. They have guards. And so they've decided to go around that center guard. They felt confident with the path. No extension, man. That's why I didn't want to go down there. Just fresh. Yep. You can't say you can't go down there because it's going to pick. <laughs> oh. These rocks are... You can't well, say just, you can't go down that way because you pick. No, but we have... No, it's just... I think it's just a frosty thing. 
I don't I know think we've so. been playing it going that way, but it's different than playing it coming this way. I it think just it, doesn't look as I good. think it just grabbed. It's debris. Kathy, I'm not mistaken, didn't Kevin Cooey, anyway, their team coming down the same path, that. the other end, it was right the same here. problem with that intern? Totally it grabbed and it, it ended up wrecking on a guard as well in that path? Uh, it, I believe you even said it was the first time we saw the intern yeah. on that side. It, it, you know what, and whether it grabbed or it just really jumped in that spot, I'm not sure. But it has been two rocks in that spot. It's just, it's and you can see that you're not, not seeing a lot of frost that. building up, but you, you can't always see the paths that a lot of rocks yeah. have gone down and there have not been a lot thrown in that spot and so it could be fresh or it, quite frankly it could have picked up something as Ryan is suggesting. Yes. Throw me a 95. So 3.95 from back line to hog. The split that he's referring to. Like yeah, we're a little tight. The line's close. Yeah, I thought line was good. Skip Stones here in four. Kevin Cooey with his first. And a chance to apply a little more heat here as Ben Hebert and Brent Lang. Good work out here to get it by that yellow guard. Nicely done. It is. And it stops top button as Steve Cooey lies two here in four. 97. It's a lovely throw. Uh, hey, great Benny. brushing, oh, great judgment. The there drop. is very on little his, uh, room, if any, he threw before he by that guard. Before the draw of the button that he put on the button? What did you get for a split? Remember? Is that too far back? You're testing me. What did you get on the draw of the button split? 404. Yeah. Should get a little bit of curl here. Go, Brad. <clears throat> How many right, can you make go away here, Kathy? Third, uh, like a half, like a half, thick half. Well, you can make those two off the top go away for sure. And if you hit mm -hmm. that red one off the top of the yellow, it will drive it back. And in theory, you could remove four stones. He That'll would just love to get that one off the lid. I was going to say, I think he, he loves that theory. Yep. <laughs> if, if he could put that theory Whoa. into place. Yep. Yeah, hard. Brad Jacobs trying to remove as much oh, as he up, can, up. just misses that yellow stone. And it's a natural redirect. You could see that if he had caught the one in the Go forefoot, right. it's going on to the other yellow stone. Just misses. Throw. I just missed it. Curling more, yeah, but I think it's them. Go off them. Okay, you definitely can't go off them. Okay, then this is. I yours. mean, remember your one that. Uh, it hung and hung and hung. And if I'm just, it's so late finish. If I'm just top twelve, I don't ever good. see this over curling. Okay. I agree with you. So I'll just, we'll get out to it. Sure, I, I think, think it's, it's good. the good ice. Just. Well, a good discussion that even at this level, ball. you're not only watching where the opponent is putting the broom, but how they actually are throwing yeah. the stone. No, he's probably trying the blank. Oh. Might be a no, no, no chance. No chance. Might be a shade quicker. In Zero. Here, well, Same pass. He's pretty good. Just doesn't matter. Let's get it in. I know what he's saying. It... Full 12 scoop, right in front of it. Looking for a sliver less. Yeah, Seems real close, sliver, sliver. I think it'll slide a little better. Me too. Here, Me yeah. too. You can throw a little less. Their discussion about the blank is that if yeah. Kevin throws the guard and he shows Brad, you know, a third of the stone on the outside, they feel he'll play the blank. We certainly I saw that exactly in the, the final shot that Brad threw yesterday to win. Like to hold it for line. But if this there, stone is biting, fly. it's we're not there, going to play there, the triple. Don't or highly it. unlikely don't for the blank. Okay, we don't want it. We're full eight. You never have to. Ah. No. Sit, baby. You want to freeze him? No. Yeah. Uh, I don't yep. Know. yep. 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 Hard. Keep going. Come on. Come on. Come on. Ah. Oh, shit. Okay, Koo. A little earlier, okay. maybe. A bit of a teaser. Yeah. Fuck. Nose hit, though. Good throw, Kev. The curls a bit of a teaser. Just a shit better. Yeah. Just can't put the screws going. Could have sworn I took a foot off. 
I thought he threw both. If we just tell him a shade earlier, we can get that right to it. I like it, Brad. So I see a double for one. You bet. Just a peel on the nose. Okay. There's no super blank here I'm missing, Kathy, is there? I don't see it. So after blanks in one, two, and three, final stone here in four, and Brad Jacobs facing three yellow stones belonging to Kevin yep. Cooey. Hard! Straight, Straight up! Straight to it! Straight up! Big weight, Good. gotta stick the shooter, job, gets Brad. them both to go. Sweet, nice job from the Olympic champion. So finally, our first points on the board. He wanted two. Brad Jacobs settles for a single. One nothing after four. Meantime, before we go to commercial break, we'll check in on Flurry and Homan. And, and final stone here to come from Tracy Flurry, Kathy. It does appear that the yellow stone that is biting the top of the button is the shot stone, and very much like we just saw in the last end, yeah. trying to play that tap way yeah. could bring in three yeah. if she's able to keep the shooter as well. Big scrub now to get it by that yellow guard. Bump it. One, two. Three. And three. Lovely shot from Tracy Flurry. So some confidence there for her as she ties things up. More to come from Brandon after this. Welcome back to Brandon. Usually, Kathy, you talk about a key shot from that guy. It's big time weight or a takeout or a run back, but it was the finesse shot. It really was that sticks out in my mind. It has been all Brad Jacobs in terms of controlling the scoreboard with that hammer. And in an opportunity with ice that we're still hearing the players question exactly what it will do and where it will do, throws great draw weight, throws it to two wonderful sweepers, sees the line, is absolutely perfect on his draw weight. This would go on to create a situation in which Brad Jacobs would be forced to take one and change the momentum of the game. The key shot brought to you by Purex. It's Purex or nothing. So for the first time in this game, it is Team Cooey out of the Glencoe in Calgary with the hammer. You see the three Art. blanks there, Art. one and four, and now here in five it is. Oh, oh, oh. The defending yep. world champions Art. with the hammer oh. throwing the yellow stones here in five. Oh, yep. Bring to it! Real oh, boys! Oh. Good. Good throw. Good throw, guys. Fine. Just, just tap, just. Enough to tap it out, but also enough to get that movement. It's oh, good. Oh, 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 oh. Yep. Yep. Yes. Yep. Yep. Hard. Yep. yep. Real hard. hard. Hard! Whoa, whoa, Hard! Oh, oh, oh. I like back line. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. okay. Brad, through a five? Mm -hmm. I think so. I like see, barely touched the garden. You freeze that one, boys? Another men's game on the ice this morning. Mike McEwen, John Epping tied at one, both looking for their first win so far. And Brandon, final stone here from Mike McEwen. Well, it appears that John Epping is lying too. And so for Mike playing a very soft weight to ensure that he sticks around. Pass the curl. Pass the curl. What a glorious opportunity Mike had in his opening game against Brad Jacobs. We showed you in the broadcast that beautiful thin takeout from Jacobs to pick up the win over McEwen. A nice shot there, though, as he makes the tap and has a 2-1 advantage after four. Close game there on Sheedy. Well, a really tough game to rebound off. You are in control. You think that you're going to force your opponent to take a single. Next thing you know, you're walking off the ice after Brad Jacobs makes that shot. And you have to go back on the ice within about an hour and just was not able to rebound. So 0-2 is not exactly where you thought this event would start. there, like normal? Really hard. I don't even, well...
Try that again. Yes, I think I think so. So again, looking for that hack weight to get the under roll. Hack. Whoa, 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 whoa. clean. Ha whoa. Whoa. whoa, whoa, whoa. Hack, heavy. Yeah, heavy hack. Close, whoa. whoa. It's okay, Black. That's the right call. Yeah. Definitely oh, yeah. want to get under here somewhere. Think yeah. so. Hack. Same, same as hack last as, end. That same was hack. as last end. Hack weight where I had mine is perfect. Yeah. Same, yeah. Weight. same weight I had last end. Yes. And not looking at playing that double, the two reds are set up for the double remover. But if you do that, your shooter stays right beside your other stone same on way. the outside. And that's Art. about reducing oh, rocks, whoa. and he doesn't want to do that. Whoa. Over on Sheet B, Jennifer whoa, whoa, whoa. Jones and Chelsea Carey. Oh, Jones no. leading by four, but, but. No. Carey finally putting some pressure on. There you see one, two, three, four stones in the house for Chelsea, and the final one to come here from Jennifer Jones. Well, and this final stone from Jennifer Jones no, is half, I don't even know if she line can good. get she shot. Line. She has to get to the lid and tap a stone back that is fully buried. Needs to catch a bit of that granite. And how far will this red stone slide? Two. Steal of two. So good fight here in Chelsea Carey. Gets within two. And a 5-3 advantage for Jennifer Jones after four. Yeah. It's got to be a good sign there, Kathy, for the defending Scotties champs. Get down early, and they continue to battle over there. Well, they're continuing to fight. I'm not sure how Jennifer Jones allowed four yep, stones yep, to yep. be in play. So you have to know that whoa, some misses whoa, from her yeah. team. Whoa, whoa. Whoa. Ryan Fry in her feature matchup. Hard, 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 hard. Need to get hard. that yellow stone oh, right yeah, out, yeah. and the skipper will do just that. Nice brushing there. Shot, shot. Toss. That turned things around quickly. Nice throw by Ryan. Get the double, leaves his shooter at the top, something that they can utilize. Just went back past the red, eh? What? Just went past the red, eh? Mark, if you go there, you don't need to do. Yeah, I mean, I think even if you roll to here. Okay. I think yeah, that's just roll better. here somewhere. If we roll yes. a bit, he's got this, this yeah, you roll it in front of it, he Like, doesn't. he's having a go if you roll a foot at this. Yeah, that's why we are going further. right in front of it. Sure. Um, that heavy board? Sure. That's good call. Good nose, it. Because you just don't want to roll nose, too far. Guys, nose isn't the end of the world. No, it's not. Right? It's not. No. Is that the better call? Because this way, no, if, it's okay. If, if I roll and he he can he yeah. can jiggle these around. Right now, those are so good. You could just throw hack and hit it a millimeter high, and you're in the house. You could go. Right? I'm just thinking that those are so good. I'd hate to. Like, as soon as you do something over here, he's yeah, going to well, smash. Your other option is to nose it. You're in the house can, if you're a millimeter high. I can't roll right here. And guys, I can actually I make I was just this. wondering if we can make that. That's definitely there. You can make that. I like that. I'm in the ballpark if I'm at the nose. And boys, if I nose, I'm not. No, it's pretty good. He's blasting, and then we Split still got the two. sniff for the deuce. Sniff. It's a good just chance. Just there, Matt. What do you think, Kev? Just freeze it there. Like, if you're rolling well, it here. I'm not a huge fan of just this. Like, then I think he, I mean, it's not easy. I've got air to get under. I've got air. Yeah. What does he do if we nose it? I don't know. I think it's worth a go, bud. I, like, I don't rip. like moving these around. But me neither. Then we got an easy split. Nose, and if you just get under. Sure, I like it. To make the roll under, you got to throw half, though. Yeah, yeah. So deciding that ah. that redstone at the top of the 12 is too dangerous to leave. And for sure you want to remove it. The question becomes, do you roll over in front of those two stones on the left-hand side? And they don't really want to force Brad Jacobs to play anything over there because respecting his upweight ability, all of this end could go down. And so they've decided that even if they knows it, they know that they may not be in the house. 
they'll wait and see what Brad Jacobs does, but they'll know that they always have the chance to split to lie to. Now it's go time. Lang Hebert. Plan B. Wow, they graze the card. Removes the red and still touches the paint. When you know your release. I thought that's what we were told. Sorry, Ryan. <laughs> well, Mark's apologizing to the opponent on the way down, which you don't have to, but he is a very classy guy. When you know your release. That's why I said, oh my, well, when you know your release. So that's still five out of five on the stats, though, right, Kathy? Sorry, Kev. It's a four. So soft, <laughs> he doesn't get a bonus point like, for that? Get for that. Bonus. that was a tougher shot. You, know, you don't get a bonus point for touching as many rocks en route to your shot. I'm going to go freeze that back one. Yeah, I guess. There are some sweet. young fans, Hello. and all week long, kids from the Brandon School Division taking in the action. Yeah, yeah. i got to tell you, 24 days till Christmas. Santa better not be watching here. The kids skipping school here, Kathy. I don't know. Well, they're being educated in a different way, and what a great lifetime like sport, so that's awesome that, that Brandon is bringing their schools well, in, working with Curling Canada to make that happen. Knows, what's he doing? Awesome. Freezing again? Probably, he might come around. Then you have to make a run back, maybe he sets up a run back double. Okay. Control. Just nose right now. Hopefully he sets something up for Brad. Control weight. Okay. Okay. So neither team making a move on the stones in the right side. And in as much as that was a dangerous spot for Kui to leave Please, yep. the Jacobs stone. Whoa, Jacobs is whoa, not like that whoa, stone whoa, right in front whoa, of the house. Whoa, whoa. If they know that it forces Kevin to make a decision. And if he goes around there, there's going to be a run back. It is amazing, Kathy, at this level, hey, just Mark, like chess, four or five late, moves late, ahead, late, always late. thinking. Speed will be, be fine. Your hack later there, I thought you were hack, and it and ended up it, hack. And I, yeah, I'm speed's good here. Speed's good here. Mine were really finishing once I get to the like center. Like that? But, right. That ice looks good. Run no, it. definitely not more. Yeah, definitely not more. I mean, one of the most important things is it, not only thinking the four shots ahead, it is not so much what you do is always calculating, if I do this and make it perfect, what does it force my opponent to do? Where will they go? And sometimes just thinking that through changes your shot selection. Because you know what you're going to be left with if your opponent makes it perfectly. Come on, i got to go for T-line on this line, guys. Hard or T-line. Come on, boys, it's Sterling. Just T-line. Yep. Hard break. Yep. 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 Go. 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 Good shot. Perfect wave. It's good. I thought it was too much ice. Did you? Yeah. Yeah. Well, you know what though? It's too much ice depending on how I throw it. My throw is perfect. Yeah. A little positive. Respect to throw like how you want to Great pressure. Key line. They were hoping for bigger finish, but they were also trying to ensure that these stones are even, so there's no double. Go. 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 Good shot. Yeah. Can. I, whatever you think is easier. How much do you got from the hack, Eve? Or Ryan? Just half. Half a rock, eh? Oh, yeah. oh, so like a heavy fight. hack? Oh, exactly. Yeah. Oh, oh. So if you can, in fact, see half, heavy hack weight will remove the stone and roll it behind heavy the hack. shot just stuck by Ryan. Brett Jacobs with his oh, first here in five. Oh, Going to skip oh. stones. Yeah, go, Ryan. Hard, Ryan. It's going hard, Ryan. Hard, hard. Trying to get it to curl. Hard, Mark. Hard, Mark. I can try. And it is Team Cooey still shot stone, top eight. 
Despicable. Huh? Despicable throw. I'm not sure why he's that unhappy. Yeah, it's the same as everywhere, I think. Same. Not the result that he wanted, but same it didn't look like a horrible throw, but obviously right not feeling that he's throwing it very clean. So you're looking for a 90s. Yeah, 95, 95. Right in there. And feel Plus life, eight. Benny. Hard. I'm going for line. Hard three. line. Hard oh, line. Hard. 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 Get Hard. 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 No. Hard. 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 Come on. Tough one, Kev. Sliver tight. Yeah. It's you pretty thin. Those. I think you have to. We have to. You can't go anywhere, right? No, there's no real good. Because he could come off that easy. You can play the run. I think you have to play this. Try be on that back one. It might drag in behind. Never know. Should drag back. Might. Let's get the top one first. So playing to pick that stone out. Oh, oh, oh. Yep. So he needs to move that yellow stone cross country. Hard, 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 hard. Yellow hard, goes. Hard, hard. And even that red stone partially hard, behind cover now, but mission accomplished there. Pretty good. Holy Christ. Just another speed bagging. Hey, don't laugh at my players. Don't laugh at my guys. You were forcing us the whole end. Holy fuck. You don't have a lot of it, eh? What do you have? Half. You got less than that. It's optimistic. I was thinking a thick quarter. You want to play this a little less yeah. weight, like a control weight? Well. I'm just about liking that. Uh, Run on ours. Oh, I see, like an out turn, a sliver across. Out turn face. across. I mean, if you're playing this, you're probably Here's just your problem, playing right it. right there. You play that hack weight, you rub it. You can I mean, see how little it will it. take to graze it in the house. Well, we've thrown those, we've thrown so many board weight hits out here. You could throw board and hit half a rock and make the blank, right? You threw a board waiter out here too. Take a look from the hack, but. I know, but Mark's into a different who's out turn. It wasn't an ice problem. Okay, let's see. I'll see what it looks okay like. Okay, with that, down I'm there thinking halfway. like this with edge of board. Yeah. It's unfortunate because weight was perfect. Yeah, his weight was great. I don't know. There's not as much as he may think he can yeah. see from the hack. Boards. Yeah, pretty good though. It dragged more than like from here. For I think both you and I didn't think it would go that far. It's spinning so hard though. It's spun. Yeah. That's the thing. Good shot. You can't see a lot of this. So it was either this, Kathy, or they even looked at that yellow run back as well. For sure. And Easy if you're board. really uncertain, Please. you can always just Easy draw board. and take Please. your point, but they're trying Whoa. to avoid Whoa. taking a point. Yes. Whoa. Whoa. Final stone here in Whoa. five, Kevin Cooey. They need something. Need something. And a miss, and he'll go right by. So instead of the blank or even drawing for one, a steal of one, and Brad Jacobs with the advantage through five. The 2016 Home Hardware Canada Cup of Curling is brought to you by Home Hardware. Homeowners helping homeowners with expert advice.
Welcome back to Brandon, our home on the prairies in the winter. It is a very typical rural scene, and we love it out here. We talked about his numbers yesterday. You see that big steal leap out on the board in the fifth end. Mark Kennedy struggled a little bit last night at 98% today. He's got an edge on Ryan Fry, and he is with Brian. Mark, I know that blank in five was tough. You looked at the yellow run back and then that half wake shot. How tough was that for your skipper? Yeah, yeah, it was a tough shot. Uh, I think giving an effort at the blank was worth it, though, and he threw it good. It just didn't curl as much as we thought. So uh, we're going to have to stay tough and try to get a deuce back here in six. You guys have had such a great season last year. What continues to motivate this team? Uh, you know what? Just peaking for the Olympic trials. You know, I want to get back to the Olympics. We all want to get there. So we're, we've had a bit of a tough season here, but we're trying to, you know, get into good habits and just try to get better for next year. And that's what uh, this is all about for us out here is just getting better. Finally, we wish Nicole a happy birthday. Yeah. True or false, you bought her a snowblower? Oh, who told you that? <laughs> she did. Oh, she did too. Did she tell you I bought her a vacuum too? What? Are these good gifts? Uh, she asked for them. So, <laughs> hey, I'm away so much in the winter, she didn't want to shovel anymore. So I thought it was a nice gift. I got another gift for her. I just haven't told her what it is yet. Husband of the year. Thanks, yeah. Mark. Husband of the year, I wish. <laughs> happy birthday, Nicole. Well, let's hope the other gift isn't a blender. But let's take a look at the numbers after five, brought to you by Ford of Canada, proud partner with Curling Canada for 22 years. Well, the numbers are very even on the bottom, and the biggest discrepancy is at the back end. You have Mark at 98% with an edge on Ryan Fry, but it is Brad Jacobs 24% better than Kevin Cooey, and that's why he has the two-point edge. Needs to keep it in the back five if he wants to keep the Olympic dream alive. We'll be back right after this. The 2016 Home Hardware Canada Cup of Curling is brought to you by World Financial Group, helping Canadians have better financial futures. By Purex Bathroom Tissue, Purex, 90 years of pure comfort. And by Tim Hortons, official coffee of Curling Canada. Welcome back to Brandon, Keystone Centre, update time. Let's get you up to date. Team Fleury, Team Holman, fifth end, final stone here coming from the defending Canada Cup champion. Well, one thing about Tracy Fleury, we saw last night against Val Sweeting, they do not fold their tent and go home. Very quietly, she goes about putting rocks in spots and forcing her opponent to take one. Needs the forefoot. Here does Rachel Holman. And how tough is that, playing the out turn against those guards and still you're basically curling away? You are, you have to, and that's all that Tracy left her. Good weight, but not good enough, so it's a steal of one. How about Flurry? Up 4-3 now after five on the two-time Canadian champion, Rachel Holman. Updates continue now, and look at the rocks in play here. What a mess. Epping versus McEwen. Both these teams desperate to pick up win number one. Final stone here from John Epping. He's going to the wings. Well, it does look like that red stone at the top of the button is the shot stone. So trying to run that corner guard in. Close. There's the run back. Nice try, John. One. And it is one indeed. So thank you, BJ. A steal of one. So McEwen up 3-1 after five. That was a very tough shot. Meantime, a lot of scoring, a lot of offense in this game. Jennifer Jones taking on Chelsea Carey. Jones a chance to improve to 3-0, and but Carey trying to fight back in this game. And again, she is shot. Lots of rocks in play with that lead. Jennifer does love to play a lot of stones, but that can't hurt you. Jones, keep in mind, opened up in one with a four spot, then stole one for a 5-0 lead. Run back tap. There you go. There's the Olympic gold medalist from Sochi. Lovely touch. And she's back on the board, up 6-3 after five, picking up her single. A lot of excitement there for a single point there, considering momentum though. It seemed that Chelsea had it, but now a three-point advantage there. And we talked with Mark Kennedy after five, that really tough blank not to be, so it was a steal of one instead of just getting one. And a two-nothing advantage, it is still Team Cooey with Hammer throwing the yellow stones here in six. And that was a really tough shot. You know, I, I wasn't convinced in watching Kevin Cooey's face at the far end talking about it with Mark that he was really bought into it. I think that he threw it, and I don't say they want to necessarily say they talked him into it, but I don't know that he felt that comfortable. And sitting in the hack, 
there was not a lot of that shot stone available to him. And the risk with that tight guard, you know, your brain just forces you to maybe throw a little bit of extra weight or a little bit outside. And so a big steal point for Brad Jacobs. Keep going. One thing to keep in mind too, Kathy, that all season they've been playing eight and games. So really their first 10 end competition. I heard Steve Laycock talk. He's obviously off to a great start too. And Steve Laycock said in his media availability after his win that that's a big thing mentally, not so much physically, but mentally. You're used to that eight end grind. And maybe by that seventh, eighth end, you really have to continue to push yourself. Not to say that was a factor in that last decision or call, but. The 10 end games are certainly an adjustment. Whoa, 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 whoa. They are indeed. It also does mean, though, that if you do get down, you don't have to panic as fast because you do have more time to get back in. And conversely, of course, if you have a lead, you don't necessarily think that you're going to hang on to it that long. Catches it on the way by and rolls the shooter to a center card. Pretty good. Pretty impressive pretty outcome. Side, like what happened to Fries? Fries was a dead, dead spot. So, but I don't see the same. And cross. they just swept it a bit. Okay. But you're right, though. If you want to be a little aggressive here, I think you can. You're throwing back eight, right, Langer? Back eight. I'll try and trust it. Okay. Well, this is that spot that we saw two rocks do a little bit of weird things. They feel, back they 12. being the Cooey oh. team, that it may be a Wait, dead good, spot yeah. that Ryan Fry caught. Oh, oh, up. Back line. Right off. Still up. sliding. Never. No. So he threw a little bit more weight here in this spot, Kathy. Uh, An extra rotation as well. Pretty good. Moves pretty strong, those reds yeah, around. An objective met. Yeah, I thought he was a little aggressive there. Yeah, Rip it hole. through the hole. Just, just kill it through the yeah. hole. Yeah. You're going to want to hit uh, two thirds. And that opens the door now for Kevin Cooey for that possible two here with hammer and six. Well, if you well, I'd like to waste one. You're gonna go open? Well, I guess if we go, he probably runs it in. Do you ever go I here? Know. That's what I like. Could you you go, try it here. You might. Okay. Okay. Or is he slashing, isn't he? Kathy had a great conversation so before the game with both Mark Kennedy and Emma Miskew in regards to sweeping. And one of the big stories coming into this season has been the brushes. Everyone is now on the same page. A great job by the players, the world body, Curling Canada to get everybody on board using the same brushes. And I asked them both, how much do you think percentages will drop off at events going forward? Mark said mm, between maybe 5 and 7%. Emma they said the close. same thing. And for bad. Mark, he said the oh, biggest yeah. differences now are those in between takeout shots, the soft the weight, soft the tap backs. He said last year, geez, you just throw it out there and it was like a video game. You could make the shot pretty much 10 out of 10. Now it's a much bigger difference. That obviously just missing on the draw weight, but you're going to see the percentages. I think across the board come down and maybe it's a little kick in your ego or your confidence but I just think it's reality now with that difference now in sweeping and the difference of the shots we'll see missed out here. Well for sure and that shot just missed by Mark was just a, a bit of a thinking thing but for sure it was those hack and bumper weights that you could be a couple of inches on either side of the broom and the ability of your sweepers to manipulate the stone based on the brush head fabric was certainly there. It is no longer. You need to get the stick. And so it does play with your confidence a bit when last year you made absolutely everything and this year you're not. But it also does force you to throw a better stone and that's what this game is about. It's still early, but maybe tomorrow morning it'll be a good chance to look at last year's numbers to this year's numbers sure. and just see across the board if, if there are that. big differences. Draw the button. Okay. Speed. Same. Similar. Yep. Do a draw here and I'm top four. Okay. So after going through in his first, a chance for Mark to recheck. Needs to get right to the lid. 
Mine's good. T line roof. Mine's good. Mine's good. I think so. I think so. Oh. If you want to be a foot above it, hard. We're there. Oh, oh, We're oh, there. Oh, then. Oh. Well, a little bit of separation. Oh, yeah, Mark. Mark. Right on, Mark. on the lid for Mark Kennedy. It's a good rebound. Yeah. Freeze it on the nose. He missed yeah. that one. I think the <laughs> wife would have him using that snowblower. Where'd you have? Sorry, here. Ed. <laughs> and all the other appliances that he's bought for her over the years. Oh, Mark. Yeah, yeah. Really I know what I'm getting yeah, you like for good. Christmas now. This is incredible. <laughs> gonna get Mark Kennedy to do all my shopping for Off me. Button. Yep. Brad Jacobs, if he can sit right on top of that stone just thrown by Mark Kennedy, that scoring zone is dramatically reduced for Kevin Cooey. So it's not about getting shot. No, T line. Whoa, whoa, coming. Yep. Yep, 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 line. Hard line. T. Whoa, whoa. Do it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, no, whoa. Red too much. Sit. What's up, bro? Very nice. Sweet. Shot. Uh huh. How do we get two? Do you have both draws or just this outturn draw? Well, the outturn, well, you tell me. I think I have both if I get to here. Yeah, that one's tough, but I prefer to have the outturn. Anything we can do here? Peel? Yeah, I mean, he's not, the guard is really not in play, but I, I don't see us putting it. All we do is block, block one of them. Block one off, but might as well peel it anyways. I think so. So the theory is you peel the guard. They don't think Brad Jacobs is going to mess with those stones at all. He'll probably replace that guard, and then it will be a teeny part of the lid that Kevin Cooey will have to draw to a very precise draw for their second point. Maybe there. What about Cooey with this run back? Does he want to mess with the stones there, or is it just a straight no, peel? No, not at all. Straight peel. Is that? We're guarding the outturn draw. And there you go. Yep. And they knew he'd throw the guard, and the outturn draw is definitely the side that has the most white available. And remember, Kevin Kathy, Cooey. that intern side is that side it's that also the Brett tougher. Lang had to, as he said, trust it and put a little bit more weight. I think he threw it back 12. It ended up in the forefoot. So kind of a tricky side, that intern. And you can see there's probably Where only a here? couple of inches of space so with the intern. So I guess we just want to be... The intern's you can be, be way out there. No? It doesn't right. matter. You can be <laughs> out to here. And he ha doesn't have that that's, drop. That's true. That's true. So the closer you go in, the more chance you have of set, just setting it up on a Let line me see the broom. Like I'm I just like want to know where we're, I think tight. I think like right here is where you want to throw it. All right, well then we need way more ice than that. You, like edge of the 12. Covered, you could throw it out there. More. We don't necessarily have to throw this. You want more turn. than you this? I, I was just going to say that, I'd Kathy. If you inter. could throw the other turn, but is that that side that's tricky or would that make a difference even throwing a guard? Spot. The well, intern. the problem is that you go down the center line, and that is no man's land. But they do know the path if you, as long as you're not in it, and they won't. They're taking less. less. Last one. I don't think it'll be that bad. Live look now, Tracy Flurry, Rachel Holman, a 4-3 lead for Flurry. As you see the scoreboard behind there, putting the pressure on. She took the three in the fourth end, stole one in five. So Rachel Holman trying to get back on the board here in six. And there are sure, two, three sure. stones that are in the forefoot, Four. and it's hard. We're right behind that yeah, sheet, yeah, but guys, it's hard Four. to tell whether this is against one or 4-2. Four, two. All hands on deck now. Good job by the skipper to make sure they didn't oversweep it, so she puts it on the button. Now is it one or two? One for sure. So at worst, the 4-4 four, four tie, and they'll likely put the stick, and yeah, so they'll have a measure, and we'll keep you up to date. We'll guess. let you know as soon as they know. I doubt this is going to slide on us. Yeah. 
What did you throw out here, Brett? Well, I wasn't wide enough, and I threw. In the, <laughs> I thought I threw back 12, and it was back 12. But I was. But you were almost edge of eight. Edge you of need eight. almost edge of edge of 12. I think that's minimum, eh? Yeah, judging by how mine finished with back ring, back eight. So the Good intern luck. draws left for Kevin Cooley. You see that red stone that was thrown by um, Brad Jacobs know, there on the right side of your screen, top 12-ish. It's yeah, also a great visual of how Jacob's little of the yeah. white from Kevin Cooey can see. He needs to put his stone on all that he can see for the second point. Four feet. Four or five feet more than normal. Yeah, Looks like quite a bit more frost out here. Okay, well, pick something. Whatever you feel, my man. Whatever you think. I have no idea. And that's the tough part there. Brett Lang tried to give some info on his shot. They haven't been this far out. And I believe what the sweeper said when he let it go for that in turn was Hayes back 12. So Mine's good. here we go. Final stone in six. Mine's good. Just a sliver of an opening for Mine's two. Mine's perfect if it comes down. It's going to get him good stuff though. It's trying, trying to fight for that white paint, wow, and it will try. just roll off a little bit too much. Nope. Real good effort. And really, it was a guessing game, as they talked about, <laughs> but so close to two. A single on the board for Kevin Cooey. He's down by one. Jacobs will have hammer. And there was the measurement. Indeed, it was two for Rachel Holman. More from Brandon right after this. Both Brandon and Mark thought it was in and they were confident, so that was definitely a good feeling. I couldn't see too much actually when I got down to the hack. I could see less than I'd originally thought. No room for error here. You're right on that ribbon too. Done all he can. Brad Jacobs, final stone. Set. Kevin Cooey. It wasn't an easy shot, but it was, uh, you know, a spot where I felt comfortable throwing it for sure. Get off it. Yes! Get off it. Oh, Here man! it comes. Get yeah! it by their own. Oh, they just did. Yeah. Now. And they'll bring out the stick. I was actually staring at them. I wasn't looking at the rock because I, I didn't have a good angle. Here's the measure. That's extremely close. I knew they'd, they'd let me know and uh, kind of took longer than I was hoping. Yeah! Yeah! is going yeah! to the final. When they started uh, cheering, that was a great feeling. What do they say, game of inches? Whew. Goosebumps in the building, and what a feeling for Kevin Cooey, and the rest is history. They won the semifinal, went on to the final, beat Brad Gushu, and then world champions as well. And that's how close it is, and that's how close I think next year in Ottawa, games will be decided. Welcome back to Brander and Keystone Center. Our feature game. Jacobs versus Cooey. And he had a very tough draw there to try to get his two in that last end. It was just a single. So hammer back to Team Jacobs here in Brandon. Throwing the red stones. And a one point advantage. Four. Looks like it. Back eight, it looks yeah. like he's calling. So he's trying to bump ours almost beside his. I think we're. Okay. I thought we we're trying to bump and roll a low. I don't know. I think it's nose. Oh, okay. Wait's good. Back four, back eight. Back eight, back eight. Back 12. Never. I'm going to chip it. Yep. Oh. Right. Oh. Get off there. Okay. Not bad. Let's get you up to date. Jennifer Jones, Chelsea Carey. Jones a 6 3 advantage, throwing the red stones, and the final one to come here in six from Chelsea Carey. It looks like she's trying to do a double run. That would promote her own stones against the Jones stone that is currently shot. Could be for a couple. Yeah, it's good. Perfect. Nice. Bang, Just bang, like and there's two yellows. So Chelsea Whoa. Carey. Whoa. Wow. Now a one point game. Keep in mind, after two ends, she was down 5 nothing. So good battle there from the defending Scotty's champ. 
I think we freeze on there. And how often do you see a team like Jennifer Jones, Kathy, let a team back in after being up 5 nothing? And not too often. I think Chelsea Carey's fine with these 10 end games. Oh, for sure. Pop her time to fight back. <laughs> That's good. There are lots of ways. I just hate bunching them all. Mine's good. Early. This red one, I think it's me. Well, it is 10 in season. 10 is what all these teams will play as they vie to get out of their province. Okay. And back to the national level. And of course, it's utilized at the Scotties and the Briar. That's good. Let's have a plan here. What do you think? Hey. So with last rock does not want to fool yep. around with yep. rocks Clean. up front. Yep. Just Clean. clearing the front. Yep. Clean. Well, we're playing like forces me in the world. No, I guess the not. freeze is probably still the shot for that. Like that? I don't know what else to do. Guard. Right where Brent's was. Fight the line. Now for the Cooey team, continuing to throw the guard, not only because they're trying to steal, but because they also know the way the stones are set up. Removing both of theirs is relatively easy. Looks pretty high. Still too early, does not want to generate a blank. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Yep. 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 Okay. Sorry, boys. Thought it would be there. Okay. That's think fine. I was light? Yeah. Yeah. So I don't know. Get that out of the way. Third so high, you can make a great shot on us. Like that? Yeah. Yeah. What if we peel one more time? Ah! I just. What's he doing know. if we peel one more time? What's he doing if we peel one more time? It's probably coming maybe here. It makes it real good. We're not in good shape. I think we're I think we're still okay. I, I like the peel. Do you like it? Do you like the peel? So Brad calls so, for the peel up and scores roll, for you. We're still kind of just on the it is line, right? Holman up on Flurry. 5-4 well, like, in the seventh. Well, like, Flurry with hammer like, there. Move ours. And like, Mike McEwen up by like one with Hammer in the seventh over the Toronto's John Epping. Clean. Clean. Kev. You don't want to be on like half of it. Right? Yeah. Freeze on half of it. Half of it? Half two thirds of it. Yeah. Well, let him pull the line. Let's get the weight right here. T line. I think it's edge eight. That's close. Maybe a little more. Okay. That's close. Yeah, angle so freeze, Kathy, or less. right on top of it? It's the angle. You know when uh, Brad and Ryan were talking about their shot selection last. Ryan felt very confident that if they peeled one more time, that this is what the Cooey team would do. They would come in and play the freeze. And even knowing that, Brad still felt that there was lots of time. He felt very comfortable with that. And the perfect freeze is really difficult. And the ability to throw big weight on this kind of ice with these kinds of rocks can really reduce the impact of a great shot and just comes off the edge. Looks you to be shot stone. Yeah. I think so. Yeah, it's not swooping there anymore. I think that's all we got. Like we can stick. Like you we, know. Yeah, what? I was wondering if if you could hit like. It's just that two might push over to the seven then. Like you can, you still probably kill this if you hit like. Seven eighths of this, three quarters. Three right? quarters. Let's try for three quarters. If I'm a hair thinner, I'm a hair thinner. Yeah, okay. Peel? Yeah. What turn do you want? I, I like oh, the end. Best chance is kind of just feather ours, make the double. I'd rather not yeah, no. feather ours. Would you ever go with the back one? If we feather ours, they'll be shot. 
Okay. Just let him call it. So the Thin Devil may actually clip the Yellowstone onto their own red one at the back, depending whoa, on the whoa, angle. Whoa, whoa, yep, 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 whoa. hard, 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 real hard. Ryan Fry Attaboy. gets the Shot. two yellows to go. Shot. Exactly how we call it. Huh? Yeah, I like that. Just a millimeter across with firm. That was a better intern, eh? Real nice. Perfect. Team Jacobs yet to win the Canada Cup. They lost to Mike McEwen in 2014. Knows it, Koo? Yeah, it always gets her, I guess. Eh? Last year, they had a three and four record and failed to make the playoff round. The top three teams on the men's and women's side, respectively, get into the playoffs. The top team in the round robin qualifies directly to the final on Sunday. That is a perk. huge perk. Yep. Trying to get to the nose to make the double two or two. Hard! <laughs> no. Misses the double and spills the shooter. Roll a hair. Try and nose roll a rock. That is the uncharacteristic Kevin Cooey that we are seeing so far here in Brandon. You know what I find, Kathy, in, in every sport, I find that if you're up against the wall or you really have to perform and you don't have a second chance, you come out guns a-blazing, and that intensity level is up there. I'm not saying that Kevin Cooey's team doesn't get up in the morning and go, hey, we want to beat this entire field and walk away with it and win. Yeah. But, man, they won the Canada Cup. They have their Olympic curling trial already solidified. They're the Briar champ, world champ, going back to the Briar. That look good? There's yep. something about that winner go home I think attitude that just kind of elevates your game whether you I like agree. it or not I, I couldn't agree with you more I think that you would not get any of the gentlemen on Cooey's oh, team oh, to oh. say that they are playing with any less intensity than they ever do because you never would like to feel that way but for Brad Jacobs this is about do I get to the trials this is what they've been working so hard to have a peak at and you know for sure the Cooey team is not looking to peak this week there's no need for them to do that just slide tight yeah I think so they're equally as hard but I'm not sure which is easiest. Well, probably. We know this spot's not going to do anything. It's probably the same on both sides. Well, he made one like this, Kathy, Flash earlier in the game. Well, he definitely knows the angles very well. Playing that double across the house. Hit it on the outside, on the broom side of Mark's broom, not the thin on the inside. Big time Whoa. shot here needed from the skipper. Got to get the one out for sure here. And they'll do that. But now the open draw here for two for Brad Jacobs. And a chance to go up 4 1. Well, they talked about it doing nothing out there with that kind of weight. And if he's full on his release at all, it does nothing at all. Final stone here in seven for Brad Jacobs. We talked about the ice conditions, good. how good they are. It's about 14 and a half, 14 six pass. between the hog lines to give you a sense of the speed. Well, it's getting a little tighter on line now. Line's good. And you got two of the best sweepers in the business. You want to make sure you throw it to them. Just needs the paint. And no problem here for Brad Jacobs. Right on the home hardware button. And two more on the board. A commanding lead here in Brandon. Yeah, I'd say in the evolution of our teams, this is probably the best we've been at any point. Uh, pretty confident about our... Uh, level of play and I think just the nuances of playing together for five years now is just starting to realize what each other need when we're out in the ice. I obviously love the event 
anytime you're playing against the best teams in the world, you know, you got to bring your best game. You know, sure, you'd love to have a, a game where you knew you could kind of play a B game and, and get a win, but that's not going to happen this week, and, you know, we've got to be ready to go. Great matchup this afternoon, 2.30 p.m. Eastern time across our TSN feeds. Steve Laycock taking on Team Gushu, led by Mark Nichols. Vic, Cheryl, Russ, Kathy, myself, your coverage, draw five, home hardware, Canada Cup. And it was nice to hear from Brad Gushu, did the interview with Russ, Vic, and Cheryl, and yourself on air last night. And it sounds like Brad Gushu will be back next weekend with his team. He's had a hip and a groin problem doing physio, but he'll be returning to the team very soon, which is great news. And of course, we know where the Tim Hortons Briar will be this year. St. John's, Newfoundland in Labrador, and that team very excited to qualify and to compete in their home province. Welcome back to our feature game, Jacobs versus Cooey, and two on the board for the Olympic medalists. Gold medalists from Sochi, and a pretty commanding 4-1 lead with play here underway in eight it is. Team Cooey with hammer throwing the yellow stones. Clean up, yes! Hard line, straight to it. Right to it. Hard line. You got a good one, Langer. Hard, team hard, 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 does hard, need hard. to take hard. some chances. Hard, 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 hard. hard. Nice, Ben. Good shot, Ben. Good shot. Well, good start. They got the corner guard. They have two red stones behind the tee line. Mike McEwen, John Epping on sheet E. Yeah. A 3 2 advantage for McEwen throwing the red stones. Yeah. And one more to come as both these teams battling for a very crucial victory. You go to 0 and 3, and I don't like your chances for making the playoffs. And Mike already lying one in the back of the forefoot. So this is a draw for two. Does need full four, though. Line's good. Line's good. I think you got to go on the T line. Keep her sliding. Keep her sliding. Mike from Brandon, Manitoba, so hoping for a good showing this week. And nice draw weight there, so it is two red. And he's looking good for win number one up. 5-2 on John Epic. Well, you heard the applause from the crowd. He certainly does have a lot of support. Probably. Well, for Brad Jacobs, just does not want to let Kevin Cooey back into this game. And so that Guard removal is a pretty automatic. Over curl center. Probably want to over curl center. Slightly. Yeah. Try and give you four feet more. Yeah. yeah. It's better. Turn me all there. Oh, line's Ooh, good. It's gonna be mine, bud. Okay, hey, line's good on line's this good. one. Just let her oh, stop. No, it's okay. I don't know, but I want it to stop. Good. No out. Good. You think it? I think you just throw at least one or two play. more. I think you don't. Well, you tapped into that pocket. Yeah. yeah. And they're trying to lure Brad Jacobs into maybe picking out that yellow stone at the top of the forefoot. That allows access to those two red at the yep. back that they can yep. come yep. down and yep. freeze against. And not to be lured into that, just continuing to remove the guard. And for Kui, he's always going to have the tap on his own as well. Yeah, one more guard, and then we either freeze the pocket or tap it. There you go. Two more, he's not peeling. You like just another peel? <laughs> I, just, yes, I just love the conversations yeah, right? both teams he does. pretty yeah, much know exactly what the other team is going to do. As long as we have access to our yellow. 
You ever just mix it up though, Kath? Why not bump it right now? I mean, I'm not going to throw them off, but just do something that's not expected. Well, you know, I guess in theory you could do that, but you wind up just hurting your own chances because if you do that too early and don't throw a guard, it's so easy with the conditions to make a big weight hit and then you've got nothing. Yeah, and so good. they're trying to find a way, Cooey I'm talking about, to steal here. And you need rocks and play to do that. Yeah. Slid better than yours, just a couple of polishes, eh? Maybe you can just go. No what? Clean. Yep, yep, yep. And by steel, steal the snowblower because they have hammer in this end. <laughs> yes. So, steal something. It's okay. I tried to wrap up a game yesterday in the ninth end. Yes, you did. Yeah, I did. I did. Yes, you <laughs> so, did. So, go J1, Mudrick <laughs> 1. You could just Welcome throw to the mornings. One more tight if you wanted. Where's he going to go if we throw the guard anyways? That's good for him. Well, you have I, to have access to the two. <laughs> if he blocks off anything on this side, we're in trouble. Are we stuck in trouble? Oh, or I'm thinking not if I'm thinking if you're tight, you can always hit it right back onto yeah. this too, right? right? I mean, I don't think I don't think he's playing into here, but right in front of it, tight. If he goes you've here, always this you've always buried. got this double. Yeah. It's just if you go in here right now, he smashes. He that. smashes. That. That. We go open side. We get our dudes. Yeah, but and he has to get this, otherwise he's flirting with three. Okay. Doesn't he? Yeah. I mean, there's a good chance he gets it, but if he doesn't and you lock another one, he's in sure. trouble. I think so. I'm in. Crazy to do something like. You just need to get a rocket that they can't. Yeah. Get. Well, and the best However thing, you get if it. you're right no, here. The only right thing now, I was, was thinking, could we ever do something to get, get it here and get one in there that it's not a. But nope. I think it's just here, right? I'm okay with this if you want to try so it. So I threw out here, Mark. I was, it's pretty much this line, yeah, right? And I got like, I got 13 3 on that one. Yeah, and you were really close. Fuck you guys. It's probably what we need. It slid That's pretty normal. It did. He was, he was aggressive hog to hog. Wow. That's pretty impressive. It's 14 5 to 14 8 down the center and they're talking about 13 3 out here that that's a lot that's what we told kev five feet and, and he was that's what i thought he threw and he was a little heavy but he's well, he's like, i mean he was he here with okay. zero sweep yeah, okay yeah. okay kathy is this well, just a one-off on ice conditions yeah, the yeah. fact they maybe haven't played a lot out there a bit of both why the difference you know what it mostly is that they haven't played out there at all you can even see the frost creeping in from the foam side there have been line. very few yeah. interns thrown Pretty heavy even though that's an out turn for Back mark line. but for a right-handed player they have not utilized this side of the sheet oh. very much so it just hasn't had a chance to wear down and they also do uh, think that there may be no, a dead no, patch no, out no, there. We'll still go. That's got to be so tough, okay, Kathy. Fine. Okay. These guys are world-class players. They know their no weights. Double. They know the times. Mm -hmm. They know no normally what works. And you're just guessing out there. Well, it's they're saying it's six to seven <laughs> feet heavier with those fine, times. Right? Like we want to roll in, yes. Okay. But. So let's make the roll. I like normal. Do we want to like? Yeah. We're hitting rolling in. Right? Okay. Yeah, but uh, like. Like, can yeah. we get can we get up here? We probably can with more weight than normal. But that's think, probably the. Shot I think you might like, want to throw peel, and get up. Even there. if you killed that one, what's the what's what's bad about that? Yeah, no, no doubt. Middle. So it's about removing the stone, and the reason they're no, saying no, if you I kill that one and you want to get up there is that if they hit it really hard, and they come off their own, they'll lose the one that is currently shot but by doing that their shooter will be in like front half? of the t-line oh, no i think like two -thirds, i don't think fry. we want to stick this rock here two-thirds fry I, I think two-thirds is good Brad Jacobs, set, set. and Shot. the action will move that redstone above the T-line. Had to be thicker. I don't even know what we're Seven eight. I think that's good, no? Yeah, that's fine. I think it's pretty good, though. 
Well, it's time to now look at the player numbers, and they're brought to you by Kathy Goche. <laughs> well, you know what? We talked about the back ends, and it has been a bit of a struggle yesterday in the loss. Kevin Cooey was 70%, very consistent numbers. Look at those hits. That is his go-to shot and has just flared them a little bit, overthrown perhaps, and look at those fabulous numbers for Brad Jacobs. We talked about yesterday coming into that game where he was 72% in the loss. He has rebounded. Numbers after seven brought to you by Kathy Goche, putting up with me since 2010, 2010, I believe. 2010? How'd you vote uh, here? It's all a blur. <laughs> He's not bad. <laughs> <laughs> you mean bliss, you mean it's a blur. Oh, okay. Locking it on. Yeah, so second and third. Get on the inside. Yeah. Is it getting any quicker here, or is it the same as that it's one drop? It's the same. Yeah, it's pretty good, actually. Yeah, the speed's good here, Kev. So I'll throw what I threw. Yeah, you throw what you threw, and you're going to be there. Line's good. Back Little four. Line. Line's good. Line's good. Getting a little tight. A little bit, yep. Line's good. Try not to bounce if you can. That is Line's a 13-7, so a full second slower on that in turn side than the out turn. Go, 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 go. Bummer. Yeah, that's not very good. Yeah, this is where you, this is the same spot you made the one for. Well, the double uh, is there. Yeah, yeah and can, you can't. Can you jam that? Huh? Can we jam that? You probably can, but it doesn't change things. I mean, well, you would have a. You might have a shot for three. Hit it on the nose. Yeah. Right on the nose. Out turn. Yeah. Nope. Just a sliver high, if we can. Here's the jam they were worried about. What if you do that? The sliver on the high side. And then, of course, you'll have the hit for three. But for Brad Jacobs, he's not looking at not making the shot. He's looking to run it straight back on the nose. Both yellows go. Just give me a touch more. And Cooey would face four. Brad Jacobs, a three-point advantage Whoa! here in eight. Whoa! His final stone needs the double, gets him to go, and he lies four. What a shot. Brad. Brad, stay here. I got to go. Well, for Brad Jacobs, was not considering playing the jam when Ryan Fry was looking at, you know, what could happen. He saw that that's one of those shots that when they speak with such confidence, <coughs> put the broom down and go. Tell you what, Kathy, oh, early indications, they got that Olympic swagger back, I'll tell you. After that shot he made in our opening broadcast, that thin double to beat Mike McEwen, you saw that energy in the he entire did. team. They're going to be tough this week. Well, and I think it's one of those teams too, Brian, that as it gets closer oh, to right. Sunday, they, they drop the clutch. Line's Just line. because they... Unlike many of the teams out here, know what it's like to stand at the top of the podium at the Olympics and experience all that comes with it. And you start to get that close to knowing you have a chance to go back. You find an extra gear. So Kevin Cooey down that intern path once again, and this thing needs to slow down quickly. Uh, one, one. A steal of one. So Jacobs now a 5-1 advantage over the defending Canada Cup champions. Looking good here in yeah, Brandon, Manitoba. 5-1 advantage, meantime update. And I hope you took the over in this game. Jennifer Jones came out hot against Chelsea Carey. Took four in the first, stole one in the second for a 5 nothing advantage. And Chelsea Carey trying to fight her way back. Well, she was doing a great job. It did give up three in the seven. In this case, is forced to try to take her one. And right on the nose for the defending Scotty's champion. But it is Jones leading by three with Hammer after eight. Much more to come from Brandon.
Jets on TSN continues tonight when the Oilers battle the Jets. Woo! Catch the action at 6.30 p.m. Central on TSN 3, available in the Jets region. And that'll be Patrick Laine taking on Yessi Pugliarvi. And Those are clearly Jets fans, clearly. Because they're happy? Uh, well, one's not looking <laughs> at you. <laughs> be a great battle in the NHL tonight on TSN. In the meantime, a curling battle. Battling for win number one. McEwen versus Epping. You see the Red Stones in play belonging to the Brandon boy, Mike McEwen. So a nice draw needed here by the skip from Toronto. Well, he needs to get to the lid. And what is really interesting is this is the outside sheet. And that is the side of the sheet, that intern side, that should be problematic if there are issues with the ice because of the stands. And every time I look over, they are playing that shot over and over with a very high degree of efficiency. And it looks to be a great draw against two and good enough very for the nice. single. So nice wait from John Epping. McEwen leads though, 5-3, he'll have hammer when they get going in nine. So no issues with the intern on that sheet. It's been a bit of a struggle, specifically for Kevin Cooey on this one. And it is a second difference, so it is not a perceived difference. It is a real difference. And the defending champions here, the Canada Cup, in danger of dropping two in a row. As Brad Jacobs having a really strong game. The team and him personally, you see the two and seven, a steal of one and eight. So they lead here in nine. It is Kevin Cooey with the Yellow Stones with Hammer. And with the point situation that it is, it becomes very simple for Brad Jacobs. It is about making stones go away. Kathy, would you even throw one in the house there that's on the button or just chuck it right through? Preference? You know what, it's, uh, it's really interesting. Uh, the junior women that I coach, I would probably suggest that they yep. throw it through. Yep. Yep. It, it's yep. just a rock that's going to get in yep. your way as you try yep. to run yep. hard, hard, stones. Hard, 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 hard. And you have all the points that you need. Hard. So Go throwing it in is Go wrong. Look at that shot. Wow. Both yellows gone. Shooter nearly gone. Very nice. EJ Harnden, well done. Well, he hits that perfectly. That is that ability for up weight. And how much these stones just spring off each other. Kind of like rest when the check comes, eh? Just gone. <laughs> Out of the chair. <laughs> Who knew? Well, Team Cooey trying to utilize anything, even that guard that's almost on the foam. So, Kathy, for Kevin Cooey, he's back on the ice this afternoon against Reed Carruthers, so not a lot of time there to regroup. No. I can't and curl that far, Brad Jacobs back on the ice later okay, tonight, like taking on Steve Laycock. Whatever. I mean, it's Let's one of those situations right. that I think that for Brad Jacobs, he'd be perfectly comfortable going back on the ice right now. They're playing very well, feeling very confident out there, but they have line's the break. Good, but as you say, for the Cooey team, there's very line's little good, time off, good. and Reed Carruthers has right been off this morning. Get it there. Chance to rest. Get it there, line perfect. Hard, yep. Benny. Keep her going. Hard, 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 hard. Hard, hard, hard. Keep going, keep going. Get her. Good Good try. It's more usable Kathy, anyway. Kathy, being from Manitoba, you get to see the Anderson team a yeah. lot. They've been really they strong and impressive it, so. thus far. How have they played this year? You know what? It's interesting, and I, I don't know whether it's been a combo of people know who they are this year that maybe didn't and are maybe playing better against them or they haven't put together the season that they wanted. I think also that for Carrie had a great opportunity to go to the Canadian mix with her husband, and those are opportunities that you don't get that often, and so perhaps the focus a little bit on that, but her numbers were great at the Canadian mix, was the All-Star third. And so, you know, at this the point, they're here, and it really doesn't matter that maybe they've not had the season that they've wanted. What they're doing Line here good. so far is team. playing pretty Line impressively, good. especially Kerry. Just makes Line everything. perfect. Ah, uh, this. Yeah. Right on the T-line. 
Uh, hard, 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 hard. Yeah, you can yep. go. Yep, yep, no, it doesn't. Uh, no. Keep no, going. No, 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 no. I don't know. And that corner guard basically in Winnipeg, but they find a way to use it. Well, that's a pretty impressive berry. What can you see? No. <laughs> he buried it. There you go. Just normal. Yeah. Just thinking more like a half. Skip stones here at nine. Better. <laughs> you made it so good you can get two in there. Over on Sheet C, Tracy Fleury, Rachel Holman, both teams with one and one records. Holman, the Yellow Stones, Fleury, the Red Stones, and one to come from Tracy. Yeah, she's always having to navigate those ports. Ooh. Just grazes it out as we look at our feature sheet, or it does appear to be out. To now, though. <laughs> I'm just watching Betty. Well, now we can freeze on it, though, you're dead. Yeah, true. Uh, it's actually better for you guys. You can take us. If you're looking on the right side, this is that graze. He kind of catches the draft more than makes contact. Well, the shot's a shot, I guess, Kathy. Well, indeed, and it does actually present an opportunity to corner sure? freeze down to it now. And it will be pretty tough, if not impossible, to remove. Meantime, Tracy Flurry's rock on the way, drawing against that one yellow stone there. Back four. All you. She needs full four, maybe a bit better to get her single. Right up. Hard. Tighter than good room. Hard. Got to get it there, though. Got to drag it far enough for shot good. stone. I don't know that they did. I don't know. Mine's perfect, guys. No, one yellow. Yep. yep. So a steal yep. for yep. the defending yep. Canada yep. Cup champs. Rachel Holman up 6-4 after nine. Flurry will have Hammer coming Just home. Just pray. Oh, that's not in the house. And might have hit the foam there, and that'll be enough. Handshakes in our feature matchup. Brad Jacobs, he was tough this morning. Day two of the Canada Cup. And the Harden brothers, they celebrate another victory here in Brandon. We'll continue the coverage right here on TSN right after this. Stick around. There's a look at Brandon City Hall, the second largest city in Manitoba, 50,000 strong. Home of the Brandon Wheat Kings, and they're home the Keystone Center. Handshakes on Sheet B. Jennifer Jones, another victory, 12-6 over Chelsea Carey. So Jones still perfect in her home province of Manitoba. She improves to 3-0. And keep in mind, the top team in round robin play qualifies directly to Sunday's final. And with our feature matchup complete, we go over to Sheet C. Tracy Fleury from Sudbury taking on Rachel Holman from the Ottawa Curling Club. And Fleury with some work to do. Down by two, a 6-4 advantage for the two-time Scotties champions. Fleury the Red Stones, home in the Yellow Stones. It is Tracy Fleury with Hammer coming home. And Tracy Fleury comes into the Canada Cup with some confidence. Kathy just won a spiel at the East St. Paul she did. Curling Club. Lost her opener in that bond spill and then rattled off wins to qualify and then went through on I Monday get. of this week really undefeated. So very, uh, very busy schedule coming through that event. Uh, having that end Monday coming straight out here to have the practice on Tuesday. Right here. Yep, yep, yep. Good. Nice. So Amanda Gates with a couple of corner guards. Yeah. Yep. I would say they're even. And Lisa did try the outside tick on yep. her second stone. Yep. It went by Hard. on the outside, and that's why there are two there. Hard, Hard for any roll. We saw Team Flurry at the 2015 Scotties in Moose Jaw. They went six and five that year. Last year at the Canada right, Cup, a one and five like record that. in Grand Prairie. So hoping to improve on that. So this path is the good path though. I think 85. 
Jenna Walsh, second stones for Team Flurry. Well, and in that Scotties that year, Brian, if you remember, they were part of the three teams that play off in the beginning to actually advance. So they had three games under their belt before it even started, which was both a curse and a blessing because it was great they knew the ice, but then they started to get that fatigue in the home stretch. But all really good learning opportunities. And you know who wants to get back into the Scotties? Rachel Holman's oh. side. Well, Krista too. I'm sure all of them yeah. would love to. Yeah. An 80. Makes sense. Joanne Courtney, second stones for Team Holman. Trying to pick out the Stay stone just thrown there. What? Stay with it. Yep. This is C, the middle sheet in the house where the game that we broadcast last night was on. And so that center line does have that great finish. Once it gets close, it does really walk over. here I think for you nice to be there. yeah final stone to come on sheet E in the ninth end between Mike McEwen and John Epping from Toronto McEwen a two-point advantage looks like Mike has one in there for sure oh, there. Mm, just and the one draw for two Tapping. he can come in there and touch a little bit of the white let's look where BJ is holding the broom lots and lots of movement obviously on that sheet okay. just a touch more Easy, guys. And more importantly, line. Mike good. would love a win. Same Grew line, up Matt. in Brandon, Follow Manitoba, playing in front of the hometown crowd. Line, line's good. Dropped line's to 0-3, and, three and yep. I don't like your chances of making the playoffs. Yep. Yep. Not with 17. Really, really moving, really moving, really moving. Starts yeah. to make his break. Little tap, and two on the board for Mike McEwen, and that will be yeah. handshakes. So Mike gets his first win here in his hometown. 7-3, your final score. And John Epping will drop to 0 and 3 in Brandon. Hey, Maddie. Clean, yep. hey, yep. Clean. Meantime, Emma Miskew with the peel and does so successfully. So, top three teams on each side make the playoffs. The top team in round robin play directly to Sunday's final. Right now, Steve Laycock. And Team Gushu, led by Mark Nichols, they are perfect. Jennifer Jones, 3-0 now. And Carrie Anderson, we'll see later on today. Obviously, she is at 2-0. And, and you see 0-3 for John Epping. Kelsey Rock, also a tough bond spiel thus far. Going to be very tough with free losses. But anything yeah, can agree. happen. You just don't want to put yourself into that position. We talked about getting into those Olympic curling trials, and that'll be a common theme. We'll touch upon it a lot. Obviously, the winner advancing directly to the trial. So Rachel Holman, one of those teams that has a spot yes. from their win last year at the Canada Cup. Kevin Cooey also in. Jennifer Jones in on points. So if one of those teams happen to win, then the points becomes a much bigger factor. And this flurry team right now eighth in the CTRS points, the Canadian team ranking system. So all the points that you can get, crucial for also obtaining a spot in those Olympic trials in Ottawa next year. And it's one of the reasons that teams are going so hard instead of trying to balance it off because you can only win the points by playing a lot. And so what that's exactly what the teams that need the points are doing. Good peel by Emma after the draw last night in which Rachel Holman and the team did not win. They stayed behind. Teams are allowed 10 minutes of practice on the sheet that they will play the following draw. And so they would have been allowed 10 minutes on this sheet. And they certainly took advantage. Not all teams do, but they stayed behind as a unit to ensure that they could get the most out of their opportunities on the sheet before this morning. I threw that all right, didn't I? Three. You're gonna have to be three. You have to finish it. 
So, Kathy, we mentioned the Canadian team ranking system and the points. So here's a look at the current two-year total. So Rachel Holman, already in. Jennifer Jones, already in. They have yeah. Olympic curling trial spots. Then you see Val Sweeting, Allison Flaxey. Chelsea Carey is going to hit me on top of the head with a broom because I keep mentioning this. But if she would have medaled yes. at the World Championships, found the podium, she would have qualified. But because she didn't, she still needs to find her way into a spot. And you see Tracy Fleury there, just shy of 400 points over the two years. If you're wondering, about 80 points available to the winner here this week. But if you win it, you're happy because you're in. Oh, shoot. Yeah, yeah, at that point, you no longer care about your points because you've got what you came for. Oh, yes! Yes! Trying to play the Art! double. Art! Rachel Homan. If it picked, it worked. Because the way they both go, what a shot. Even though she's know, confused by the ice. It was moving right out of her hand. And that was a lot of weight. What happened to that? Why that curl so hard? All of a sudden, I'm panicked about the jam. Maybe. Mind? Did, how'd you like my throw? Well, I saw Joe was in a bit, but I think that. Well, I threw pretty close to there. Mine didn't do anything. I could see it right Oof. there. I almost flash my feel. Still sliding really good it's here, really I think. Nice. So we'll try to utilize that stone at the back of the house, the back 12 to come around the stone at the top and freeze. And pretty simple math, down by two and just two stones left here for Tracy Fleury. Her third, Crystal Webster, broom yeah, down in the house. Mine's good. Four. Where? Down four. It's close. Line's great, room right now. And nice draw weight. She settles there, buried in the forefoot. And the only reason they were hoping it would go back a little bit deeper is to create as much separation from that yellow stone that Rachel will run back to the red. Should move, eh? Uh, well, you threw normal here, and you let go just high nose, and you hit nose. Yeah, I think I leaned less ice. Okay, throwing peel. I think we can hold it. I don't think we can hope for it to curl. Yeah. And it is the shot she just threw, but maybe, I don't know, that ice was a little bit tricky, or maybe well, it picked. I it was, think it was bothering them because they weren't nice sure nose. why it did what it did. Right there. But you throw this kind of weight, Kathy, you sort of take the guessing out of it, don't you? you if do. it's that much you heat, do. it's not going to... You hit the broom and it's not going to move. Or shouldn't. So for Rachel Holman, two-time Scotty's champion, make that yeah, stone yeah, go away, hard. and it's another victory. Hard, Big scrub the entire way. You got it, you got it. Bang it back, kill the red. Game over and handshakes. Another win for the team from Ottawa. And the defending champs back on track. A 6-4 final over Tracy Fleury. So a great time to update your standings here on Brandon. Day two of our coverage of the Canada Cup. We'll see Steve Laycock later on today. He's still perfect, as is Team Gushu. Jennifer Jones, a win. She's 3-0. Gary Anderson, still perfect at 2-0. And for John Ipping and Kelsey Rock, they have to start putting up the Ws. Top three make it to the playoffs on each side. Smiles all around for Team Holman. More from Brandon right after this on TSN. The 2016 Home Hardware Canada Cup of Curling is brought to you by Home Hardware. Homeowners helping homeowners with expert advice. The 2016 Home Hardware Canada Cup of Curling is brought to you by Ford of Canada. Proud partner with Curling Canada for 22 years. By World Financial Group, helping Canadians have better financial futures. And by Sponge Towels Paper Towels. Nothing absorbs like it. 
Kathy, back to our feature matchup we started with this morning. Jacobs versus Cooey, a 5-1 win for the Olympic gold medalist from Sochi. But it really was momentum in the fifth end. Kevin had an opportunity, but he flashed, and that led to the steal, and the momentum started to switch. And then in the eighth, when he was just that little bit full and a little bit heavy, that really made the difference. The numbers, tremendous for Brad Jacobs this morning, really pulled it up. But for Kevin Cooey, 70 last night, 69 this morning. That's not the Cooey we know. Jacobs 97%. The game story brought to you by Tim Hortons, official coffee of Curling Canada. Yeah, I'd say in the evolution of our teams is probably the best we've been at any point. Uh, pretty confident about our uh, level of play. And I think just the nuances of playing together for five years now is just starting to realize what each other need when we're out in the ice. I obviously love the event. Anytime you're playing against the best teams in the world, you know, you got to bring your best game. You know, sure, you'd love to have a, a game where you knew you could kind of play a B game and, and get a win, but that's not going to happen this week, and, you know, we've got to be ready to go. Steve Laycock, a 2-5 and five record in Grand Prairie last year. He's perfect thus far in Brandon, taking on Team Gushu, led by Mark Nichols, both 2-0. and oh. Both great players, that's today, 2.30 p.m. Eastern time. Our next game, right across our TSN feeds, Russ, Cheryl, Vic, Kathy, myself, will all be back for the coverage. Thanks for watching the Canada Cup here on TSN. It's been a great event thus far. Much more action to come. We'll see you later on this afternoon.